Hello, my friends. If you're watching on the VOD channel, this is Iron Man 2. Not exactly what I had planned, but given some technical difficulties, we're actually going to continue our Iron Man challenge. And if we die, let's just hope we don't die. But when we do die, this is probably the end of it, since it is permadeath. But the character didn't actually die at the end of the last one. So we came up with a few goals, try and continue on with it. Hopefully have some fun with it. Hopefully my internet is okay and my connection looks good throughout the stream. We've had those problems as well. Hello, Ruben. <clears throat> Sammy, good to see you. We're back. Let's let's just hopefully not. This this isn't really fit in the mood here. Okay, this one's usually pretty good. We should be okay. We should be. And to anybody who was here yesterday on the stream, thank I apologize. Nerps, th Nerps, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for 17 months. You're getting up there, Nerps. You're 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 getting towards the numbers where you can really start flexing on the rest of chat. I need to work on new sub badges, by the way. I do kind of like the charm that my original Fiverr logo in different colors has. But I think I want to work on some new ones. Also, I just had a brilliant idea while I was in the shower today. But I'm going to save it. I want to finish it and work on it. And then I'll share it with you all. But I, I, I've come up with a new system for how I can thank everybody for their generosity you, on stream. Seven months, yay. T-Talls, thank you for seven months. Because I am not very good at diversifying my vocabulary when it comes to thanking people. Thank you, kind sir. What I miss? Polaris, thank you for the prime. And Jay Trouble, thank you very much for the tier one. I'm so ready for you to get my first thank sub. You, I friggin' sir. love you. Well, criminal cases? I love criminal cases. <laughs> I, lo I love building a criminal case for myself in video games. Not thank quite in real life. Kind, sir. But Jay, thank you for the tier one. And uh, sorry, little soul, thank you for the tier one as well. I'm Chip sure. in. Well, there's, Chip in. There's, there's the hype Chip train in. alert. I don't know if I like that one. I thought it was a funny repurpose of the Wii Sports announcer dialogue. You know, it's a hype train. Chip in. I'm Large hands. There it is. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. All right, so... Exclamation point Thank rules you if you do sir. need a refresher on Six Iron Man. Six months strong. Six months strong. Buddy Badger, thank you for half a year. So what was I saying? I, I have a system in mind for how I can diversify my thank you uh, when people do subscribe or uh, donate to the channel. I have, a, I have a brand new system that I'm going to come up with, and I think people are going to really enjoy it. I just had this shower thought right before I went live. I made sure... To, Ooh, excuse me. I made sure to write it. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Excuse me. T-Tals, thank you. Thank you for gifting two tier one subs to the channel. Very kind of you. Yesterday I needed a rules reminder. I, need, I didn't even remember my own rules. LaKayla, thank you for the hundred bits. Good morning to you as well. So I think we're going to jump into it fairly quickly here. Let me just make Thank sure I got all my, but uh, my buttons. Oh, I also, I created a button for just generic chat jam. So if I ever walk away, we can, we can go to chair. I don't have too many songs in here, but they should be pretty good jams. Thank I you, think. kind sir. So we'll just, we'll do, we'll do this one. I don't like the Connect song though. I don't like that song from Connect. I don't know why I put it in there. See like this, and then we walk away and I leave you all to just jam out with the chair. I think that this works. All right, I'm gonna give you all a moment with the chair. I'll be back in two seconds. All right, I wasn't gonna be that long. Sorry to ruin your fun, but I did want to show you this, and it's funnily 
funnily, it's funny enough. Funnily enough, that's what I was thinking of. So my stream died yesterday, right when I was gonna start uh, poking fun at the present that my mother got me, my, the presents. She's very excited to have me in town nearby, about a five minute drive away. And she picked me up a few knickknacks for my office. Let me go grab the other one. There's, there's, there's a few of them. But I showed these off yesterday. I showed these off yesterday right before the stream ended up dying. So the first one I got is miscellaneous PlayStation controllers. This one's actually kind of cool. Um, and yes, I will say I very much appreciate my mom supporting what I do. Uh, this is a good one. Eat, sleep, play. She got me this one. Thank you, kind sir. Oh shit, 11 um, months. Can't my favorite it has one. Been that long. This is uh this is the one that I'm going to keep. This is the one I'm going to I'm I'm going to keep this one for sure. Keep calm and game on. I like this one. I like this one a lot. It also it kind of looks like it was hand painted. Uh But this one um uh th this this one uh I I definitely I definitely teased her about about this one. I def I definitely teased her about this one she brought it. I know it's backwards so you can't really see. I don't need to get a life. I am a gamer. I have lots of lives. <laughs> and I did make sure to tell her. I did I did make sure to tell her when I saw him. I was like, that is very sweet, uh, and I love you for that. I am totally going to show these off on stream. Um, adorably cringe. Right, it, it kind of lands in that area, but of course I very much appreciated the thought. So I'll keep, we'll keep this one. Keep calm and game on. Love this one. All right, Skyrim Iron Man. Did I, I missed alerts. I definitely missed alerts. Uh, AJ Deshaun, thank you for the 100 bits. Sly Panda, I feel like Sly Panda, you've been here longer than 11 months. Swear. Uh, Thane of Windhelm, thank you for giving out a sub. Muse Struggles, thank you for the prime. You'll have been incredibly generous lately, and I very much appreciate that. Thank you, kind sir. Thanks for the entertainment while I tank through my trapped nerve in my shoulder that I stupidly gave myself pushing a shopping cart. Immery Lydiot Savant. Why am I hearing that twice? Why did I hear the why did I hear the alert twice? How do I always fuck this up? Thanks for the entertainment while I tank. While I tank through my trapped nerve in my shoulder. I'm very sorry to hear that. Stupidly gave myself pushing a shopping cart. I'm a real idiot savant. Did you at least get three times XP? Akovu, I hope you're feeling well soon. Sorry that that happened. I was watching one of your Skyrim bingo VODs the other day on my iPad, and I accidentally discovered I can watch while extremely... Time, Why is it playing twice? What is happening? Um... Mm. It's gonna drive me crazy. It wasn't even, it wasn't playing. Maybe it's because of the scene that I'm on. We'll go back here. Sorry, I missed that message. Uh, you, you discovered that you can watch while extremely zoomed in. So you spent the entire portion of the video where I talked about Spider-Man just zoomed in on your face for a good t 10 minutes. Also, I have therapy tomorrow. <laughs> Best of luck in therapy. You might need it after watching my face all zoomed in like that. I'm your first sub ever criminal. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you guys only hear one. I was hearing it twice. It's good that you guys only hear one and not two. Uh, but Criminal Cases, thank you for the tier one. That's awesome. We're glad to have you. We're very excited to have you. I'm very excited to play this challenge anymore because I want to build my house and I want to not die. If we die, I might be fucked. Because uh, <laughs> the, the technical issues that I've had kind of getting moved into my new place and thinking about video projects... Preparing a I spent all of last week preparing one massive video or massive set of streams. It's just very involved uh, Spent all of last week doing that 
only to have my internet crash over the weekend and need to push that one back. So I had to think really, really quickly, like, shit, what can we do? What can we do for a video? What's something that would be fun, that we can get right into, that'll be less involved? Skyrim Iron Man. And then the idea kind of came to me. I was going to flip a coin between doing this or Fallout 4 without leaving the road, because I know a lot of people have wanted that one. Wrong save. I was using this for B-roll. Hey, anybody remember when we did Skyrim without leaving the road? This is that character. This is the exact save. It wasn't Ty Pennington, was it? No, Ty Pennington was a different one. It was Bear Grylls. Ah, that's right. Okay, so the stream crashed yesterday right when we were at Hod and Girder's house. I'll just load. We'll load the save right when the last time ended. Yeah, Tetals, that's the Dark Elf Chad, but I didn't have the Dark Elf Chad mod installed which requires the more in-depth character creator if you've ever used that mod so it just reverts the face back to basically standard dark elf or as chad of a dark elf as you can make in the vanilla game just made your day better ac is out oh my so obsidian my brother lives down in texas and yesterday their heat index was like 121 the you know the feels like temperature Okay, so just to sort of double check and clarify where we ended at the end of all of this, we have a few knickknacks built inside of the house. Not a ton. Not that bad. But I mean, look, we got a little cooking pot. We have raw meat just sitting out in the open, not refrigerated. What the hell is... Scritch, can we get a fridge? I think we need to. Vegetable soup. I like how I just crafted vegetable soup with the carpenter's workbench. Thank you, kind sir. Yo, ooh, my favorite Skyrim content creator. Oh, Lorex, you're too kind. I'm I'm actually a variety creator, okay? All right, we we play a lot of different games on the channel. Uh, we played Fallout 3 that one time. Uh, we played Fallout New Vegas a few times. We played Skyrim. Very rarely we'll play Oblivion on the channel. Uh, Fallout 4. I'm very diverse. Starfield is going to come out. We're going to play a lot of Starfield. I wonder if people are going <laughs> to... I, I wonder if people are going to be like, go back to Skyrim. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, though, to have, uh, to have that in there. It's really exciting for me personally and selfishly to just have, I guess, throughout the process of sort of all the videos that I've ever made, I've always been... You know, making videos on games that are at the newest seven years old, Fallout 4, right? So it's weird to have the game be something that I think a lot of my audience is excited to play, and I'm very excited to play and make videos on as well. Obviously, I, I wonder, should we... When Starfield first comes out... Here, here, the, the, think about this with me for a second, chat. When Starfield first comes out, and I do my very first stream. It'll I'll probably go live at midnight right when it comes out and right when I have access to it. Should we just land on that first planet and just not leave? Like should should my first experience ever with Starfield involve no space flight at all? <laughs> just like we land and then we just walk. We just keep going. We, we go and for, I'll probably have just a personal save that I can play in my free time, but I have wedding after wedding i think i have three weddings almost back to back to back on weekends right after starfield comes out so i'm gonna need to get a lot of recordings in and I'll, we'll probably do like you know what we could do we could do the first like three or four streams when we play starfield we could just stay on the same planet and make that a video and then we could do another video that just continues from the same character save and just sort of see what happens. Because I think it would be a pretty fun experiment to just see how the sandbox works. Either way, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to try something a little bit new. Now, obviously, I have a lot of fun trying to create different experiences in the games I already play. That's fun enough for me. But it's just going to be cool to have a blank slate. go to neon and stay there iron man starfield uh it depends if it depends if starfield 
I, and I doubt it does, but if it does borrow the aspect of Fallout 76, where in 76 you can craft full sets of armor and full weapons from just materials, I don't think Starfield would have that. But if it does, then Iron Man is more than possible. Which, ooh, that would be cool. Oh, I like that. You're on PlayStation? Uh, just... I know it's pricey, but if you can afford it, get a gaming PC. I know. It's... Wait, I know you. Arn Bjorn. Oh, wait, the guards actually have names with this mod. Maybe I do like this name, but why am I wanted? What crime have I committed? Either way. Don't really care. I love how Scritch watches me cook with honor. Oh, no, not the soup. I waste... Wasted the veggie soup. My cousin's out fighting dragons. And what do oh I crap! I forgot. There's a bandit. Oh wait, I can sleep here. Uh, never mind. I was gonna go to that bandit camp back there and sleep there. Okay, so the first goal that we have, first important thing we got to do, we need to build a bed at our house. I want to have that free sleeping spot right in my home. So we need to find straw. I probably should have looked at other things that I could acquire to help build my house, but. Um, not so much. Again, not really sure why Durek is still hanging out in town here. Why am I breathing so heavily? You see that? She's like panting. Wait, I know you. Arn Bjorn. Okay, I never. I kind of like having the NPCs named. Arn, am I saying that? Yeah, Arnbjorn. Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. It's a fitting name for a White Run guard. Arnbjorn. Okay, last time we played before the stream exploded, we checked their house. We weren't able to find any straw. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. You're new around here, so I'll go easy. Ooh, really cool thing that I'm excited to try. I just want to show this off real quick. But uh, DDM actually made a little bit of an extension for the... Ex you remember the exterior death mod where we could have a timer, right? If we're outside, the timer would count down and kill us. So DDM made an update for it. It's not displaying on the save. Maybe I have to do a new save. But DDM made an update for that mod where the, ex the actual timer will appear on screen. We won't use that until the next challenge, but I'm really excited to see it in action. Like, the timer will be right under the, uh, it's hard to point on my screen, and I'm trying to point physically. It'll be right under the compass. Also, my game is weirdly... I had to change my game window size for when we were playing Oblivion, so it's slightly off. Uh, no? Opposite. I think that's good. Yeah. I think we're good there. Uh, it even when it gets down to, I think, 30 seconds, the number can go red. It should be really fun. But again, next time. I keep talking about the next challenge. I need to focus on this. I need straw. Okay, let's just check all of their dressers. Someone's got to have straw. Empty chest. Not sure why I checked. Scritch, quit opening doors. You're going to get me caught. I think Scritch is in, like, he's an insider. You know? He's a sleeper cell agent. Will I get a bounty if I take this? Okay, no. It does not count if Scritch sees me. I thought he was reporting me to the law. But he's not. Scritch is a good boy. Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. Why would you say that? I'm fully kitted out. I'm in bear-shaped armor. You don't threaten a woman in bear-shaped armor. Is that a bee? Give me that. Well, the challenge right now is we need to find, hey, we're the, our first objective is to upgrade our house. I want to really get our house going. Maybe run around, collect some more crafting materials if we can, do some hunting. 
I need to get my bearings back with this character very slowly. I don't want to jump in, into anything too dangerous and lose all of our progress. One arrow, let's make it count. Not a stealth. Dude, how the hell did you see me? Oh, he's being chased by a wolf. Okay. I fucking missed. I missed. I'm trying to help them out and I... Okay, favorite that. No, don't drop. Don't need iron daggers. Yeah. Certainly don't want to catch any disease. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. I'll take that. I'll take that. Fix my FOV. Now we're really rolling. Now we're playing Skyrim. But where did that de Oh, he's over. Oh, no. Did he get killed by the wolf? I probably should be taking on bigger and badder foes. But wolves are easy XP. Can't get too risky right now. Do you imagine if I got risky right now and just lost this character? Start over, delete it. Then I would be truly screwed. Okay, I need to, I need to milk this challenge for one more video. We got to squeeze out some drama. Let me enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, I, I meant to mention, uh, yesterday when I had all those internet issues, I saw a few people in chat mention that they were glad to see it back up. All I did was enter in this command on the command line of my PC, and it seemed to fix everything. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. But that's what it seemed to do. Does your health, mana, and stamina regen? It does like normal, yes, but there are more passive effects that can happen in survival to hinder it. Oh, shh, 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 shh. That's a beauty. Look at the size of that thing. No, don't run away. <clears throat> Ooh, is this a respawning node? Why, yes, it is. We're back. Ladies and gents, Iron Man is back. I don't, I can't tell you all. How many times I have been, uh, I've gotten comments that are saying, actually, did you know you can equip the pickaxe and you can hit the iron to harvest the iron and it is faster. And it, it is like, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, you know, it's, it's not the, it's like the, uh, did you know that Vigo Mortensen actually broke his toe while recording Lord of the Rings Two Towers when he kicked that helmet. It's like that, but in Skyrim. It's like at this point, it's not really a fun fact. It's just common knowledge. But I like the cinematography of I like hitting it. it gives me a second to chill, get to, you know, read chat a little bit. Phasers to gun. Thank you for continuing your gift sub from KMAC. Do I want to know how to unlock madness armor crafting? I believe that's through Creation Club, right? That's a pretty difficult quest. That wouldn't be a bad idea, though. I kind of want to take on Umbra. I know a lot of people don't like how I say Umbra. They say Umbra. No, it's Umbra. But the dungeon and final boss for the Creation Club uh, Umbra battle, it's very fun. It's actually a really nice boss fight. I've only ever done it once, but the one time I did it, and it plays the Oblivion action music, it was really cool. Is the Atronac Forge allowed? I think we have to complete a quest to do. Where am I going? I'm looking for straw. Instead, I'm just wandering through this area. I've been here a thousand times just on this playthrough. But if we've noticed an iron ore replenishing, it's not a bad idea to check out the Halted Stream camp where we last started. Hold on a second. Hold on, I'm coming up with something. This could be a mastermind plan and could be a really good way for us to start. Let's keep trying to get as much gold as we can, though. We want to make that jewelry. I still do want to grind uh, smithing a little bit. You like how I make this game my bitch? Do I? I feel like I'm Skyrim's bitch most of the time. 
I get, I get my, <gasps> Corundum, yeah, ooh, maybe I am making this game my bitch right now, hmm, come on, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my stream deck right now, thinking of a song to play right now, but I, I'm not really sure which one to go with, I'm not very good at this yet, I'm trying to get better at it, what about explore, oh, this is always a good one, Sea of Thieves, I believe. I need more of the Sea of Thieves soundtrack. They actually went crazy hard on it. There we go. Intimidating, tough battles only to start this off. I don't know if any of you remember how the last one ended, but it was stressful. What the f- What? When did I download the, I don't remember downloading the swearing mud crabs mod, that scared me. I thought it was, I thought it was a uh, text-to-speech in chat. Fuck. Fuck, fucking damn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you? Never should have come here. Oh, this is intimate, this is big time. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. No, you're supposed Don't to fight the mud crab. Also, I can't take this. It's against the rules. Oh, what the fuck? I thought there was going to be some epic showdown between the fugitive and the mud crab. I think just on this character, I've encountered the fugitive uh, four or five times. Definitely two times in this exact area. So if you really want to encounter this, come over here. There, I did your job for you. He's right over there. Did you see someone run past just now? Nope. Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. I didn't see anything. I'm not a narc. I'll take him out, but I'm not a narc. That was anticlimactic. Sly Panda, welcome to my streams. Usually things end up anticlimactic. What command did I type into my command bar to fix? I honestly don't remember. Can you get one? Oh, if you can get one, our companions allowed. No, uh, no companions. Halted stream camp, it respawned. Hold on, bandit outlaw, they're tough. Time out, time out, time out. Let's not get too involved here. How many of them are going to be outlaws, especially if they're using arrows? Those are going to hit pretty hard. Thanks for joining me, Scritch. I need your emotional support. Okay, I don't want to get stupid. Um, I can probably test the waters with an arrow shot. How are we doing on potions? Plentiful healing. Potion of health. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are low on potions. That's another thing we need to focus on. Our alchemy is good so we can make decent potions. Regular bandit. There we go. Okay, outlaw went down pretty quickly. At least he's not a two-handed demon, but if we go into this camp, we're gonna find one. It actually feels kind of good to be cutting enemies down. Are we still on expert? Yes, we are. Good. I wanted to make sure we're not on adept. Soup, soup, there it goes. Can read you like a book. Woo! Thought you had me. I think he just hit scratch. All right, really decent damage on the arrow, but nothing to freak out about. Also, definitely keep me in, uh, keep me in check, Chad. If I accidentally loot something that doesn't count, call me out. Would I be a pyromaniac at this point? I always use, I don't know. I mean, not in real life, certainly. I don't really enjoy setting things on fire. 
Maybe as a kid. It was always cool as a kid when there was a like a bonfire, if our neighbors had one, or if we had one in our backyard. You know, you get a real big stick and just like hold it in the fire and then lift it up like it's a big ass torch. That was like top five pastimes as a kid. That was awesome. If I could go back to those simple times where the there, there was no clout. Clout was not a measure of how cool you were. It was how big of a fire stick you could hold at the bonfire. Maybe I do want some lettuce to make veggie soup. We'll focus on that later. One objective at a time. All right, we're right back to square one. Square one. It's kind of hard to say. Square one. Rocky still remaining in position. Don't scare me like that. No, it looks like the iron ore veins are still empty in here. So this was a dud. It's just the outside that respawned. So I only get coins and lockpicks while looting? Yes, I can take potions, coins, lockpicks. Um, I want to say that I can take crafting materials. Like, I can take a garnet. I can take gems. Those are especially good if we want to craft jewelry. Don't fall in there. All right, we're just going to play it low and slow for a little while here so we can get our bearings back. Magic items for only if uh, Dark Starred, only if they are a quest reward. So like the Axe of White Run, we were able to disenchant that. There we go. Out in the wild. Feels like I'm back to doing what I'm good at. I'm at arrows. How did I only have one? This arrow economy is brutal. A couple of poachers over here. Iron ore. Nice. I don't have a full map right now of where the iron ore locations are, so it's nice to just encounter them in the wild. Can I repeat what I said? There was an ad. God damn it. Uh, regarding what loot we can grab. In terms of the loot we can get, glitch. In terms of the loot we can grab, it's... Hold on, let me think. Just not armor and weapons. So we can take gems, we can take gold, we can take lockpicks, scrolls. I don't really know if I have too many scrolls. Hysteria? Harmony. Those are pretty good, actually. Okay, these two. I don't think Thank the poachers kind, are too sir. tough. Oh! Ooh, they are tough. That's a lot of health. Not crazy damage. Let's go one at a time. Power attack. Don't like that. We're good on health, though. Why won't she die? How many times do I gotta hit you? Come here. There we go. Problem solved. Now I get to look cool. Okay, that was a bit scary. Uh, hold on one sec. Did Was there not an alert for that prime? Maybe I don't have the alert thing set up properly on this scene. But Mad Rhino, thank you very much for the prime. Sorry I missed that. With Starfield coming up, would I try Star Citizen? No. I'm not, I'm not really too interested in Star Citizen, to be honest. I've thought about it. But I don't really know if I would have enough time. I'm sure there's a pretty decent learning curve. 
Uh, and I get, I just get yucky vibes from Star Citizen. I don't know if that's a valid reason for not wanting to play it, but I do. Mmm, Bobcat. Sabercat. Sabercats are, we can take that on, right? You have a good run idea. If I laugh in Fallout or Skyrim, you lose 20% of your health while trying to finish the game. <laughs> Can you play Skyrim without laughing? That's kind of funny. Okay, let's go Berserker Rage. Keep ourselves safe. Oh. Yeah, easy. Nice. And we want that Saber Cat pelt. Valuable. Saber Cat Tooth is for stamina as well. Okay, things are all right. Not bad. I'm not too stressed out. Now, in order to make things a bit more compelling, I'll have to get stressed out at some point. It's only fun when that happens. You missed the void square? No, void juve is gone. It's gone. Unless, unless y'all want me to make a scene where I'm just a silhouette. Like I'm an I'm a, a locked character on the Super Smash Bros. Uh, character selection screen. Mm, more ore. What's going on? Finding it everywhere. It's falling out of my ass. Ruben, we'll go back to bingo after we die or finish. Whatever our goal will be on this character. Still have no clue what it is yet. But with a lot of these challenges, the goal materializes over time. Right now, though, main goal, get our bearings back, craft some stuff, maybe get some XP, level up smithing once or twice. And then build a few things in our house. Chief operation number one is to upgrade the house. House? House. Housing unit? Ooh, what do we got here? Environmental storytelling skeleton. Oh, it is! Ha <laughs> ha Legends lost. Telvani handed the cargo off to us at the checkpoint. They seemed a bit on edge, but they aren't sharing details exactly. Just that they were attacked by dwarven machines. Bunch of useless fetchers. All of them. We also had a surprise visit from the Halalu caravan. The whole crew was an odd bunch. More Wait, was this a dark elf? I think it was. <clears throat> More scholars and farmers than warriors, I'd say. But a few were just my type. I tried to chat it up with the fetching raven-haired girl. I think that's fetching as a compliment. But she kept those sultry red eyes fixed on the cargo as it changed hands. In any case... The main package, the, the main package is secure. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, the alert did work there. Batman, thank you for the tier one. I, I'm like the kid who gets called on in class to read and everyone's like, ah, oh. oh, this kid. Class is going to be over by the time they reach the end of the chapter or the end of the paragraph. There's fear it was damaged during transport. Oddly, the Halalu captain didn't seem too concerned about it. I, I'm not sure. Is that how you pronounce Halalu? He and the boss talked for a bit by themselves. I tried my luck with the raven-haired tart once more, and she told me her name was Beline. She asked whether Captain Enodes would be at the next checkpoint. I told her no, but the truth is, I didn't even know. Now it just sounds like sitcom audio. I don't know why she cared anyway. Their cargo is a decoy. The real package is going to Indoril, Narivar, at the next stop. Once that's delivered, I'm hearing we might stop for a day or two in Whiterun to get our bearings. The captain of the Indoril caravan is a Nord, and he mentioned heading over to the Hall of the Dead to pay his respects. That's fine. I'll be paying mine at the tavern. Hopefully I'll get a chance to buy sweet little Valene a drink. Ooh, I want to know where Valene is. She sounds like a catch. What am I... There. 
Okay, anything in the chest? Why am I cold right now? Does anybody remember if I'm allowed to take an ingot out of a chest from before? You hope I'm Gucci today, Lord Aru? I am Gucci today. I feel Gucci. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Taking the soul gem. Can't take the necklace though, since that's armor. I don't think there's much else in here. Dwarven bolt. I like how this one little patch is where I get cold. As soon as I leave, I warm up. Okay, so what does this quest want me to do? Find evidence of the caravans in Whiterun. On the road to Whiterun, I found the remnants of another sacked caravan. According to a note I found in the wreckage, the remaining caravans were set to regroup in Whiterun, and one of the guards visited the Halls of the Dead there. So we probably have to go to the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun. That's what I would assume. Questing time! Yes! All right, back to Whiterun. Look, we got a mission, chat. We're doing a quest. It's all in this note incoming. All right. Fine. If you think that's what they're going to say, then we'll gamble on it. We'll, we'll bet on it. We'll, we'll, bet, we'll bet on it. Okay, need a tune here. Okay, now, we are gambling right now on whether or not an NPC will say it's all in this note during this quest. Love the casino, when did this happen? I added this last week. It seemed fun. I wish I had channel points to gamble, because I would bet on no just to try and fade where the majority of the money is gonna go. As soon as I say that, it starts shifting back towards no. It's damn near 50-50 now. Oh my gosh, no takes the advantage? <laughs> Why? That's real. I, why is no in the lead? That's wild. Thank you, kind sir. Mechanical Lily, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Let's see if it pans out. And iron. My gosh, I love this. It's so satisfying. Every single time I find one of these, I... Oh, I just, I love it. I love it. I fucking, mm, I love it. I feed it. I am addicted to the iron. Give me more. I must have more. I will make necklaces and jewelry and maybe nails. I probably do need iron for the house. I shouldn't turn it all into gold. Here we go. Another one of these jackasses. Oh. Okay, that's pretty decent damage. I bet I can take one more hit. For a second, I thought I was the victim of a kill cam there. Christ. Restore stamina. Yeah, the Saber Cats are always handing out restore stamina ingredients. What quest is this? I'm pretty sure it's Creation Club. It's called Legends Lost. I've never done it before. But we're heading to White Run to go to the Hall of the Dead. I 
wonder why my stamina refills so slowly. Health. Health. Ooh. Mental note. When in Whiterun, make health potion. Die. Cease to exist, butterflies. I've probably killed more butterflies than I have enemies in this run. We definitely lost count of the butterfly uh, kill count. Oh my god, more! Mm. I almost like finding butterflies more than I do iron. Both get me going, though. Let's do just one. Ooh, more wolves. Easy XP, easy loot. Love this little area of the map. Thank you for your service, Mr. Skeever and Mrs. Skeever. Your death shall not be in vain. I'll turn the pelt of the <laughs> I'll turn the pelt of your assailant into a beautiful coat or something. Maybe a backpack. Should be some bees in here. Thank you, kind sir. Just being generous in my chat. Illegal. Not allowed. Stink tier. Thank you for the prime. Oh! No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, up your ass. Got him. Take the antlers. Venison. Gonna need a bite to eat. They should have just said fuck it and made that an animation. Like, if you get an execution on deer from behind, just bam. Just ram the sword. <laughs> they should have made it like a 0.2% chance that it happens. But on the off chance that it does, <laughs> that's so damn funny. It's been such an aggressive way to kill a deer. Lots of corundum. Another one of these guys. We gotta take out the saber cats when we can. Their pelts are worth a ton of leather. One deer, one sword. Oh god. That era of the internet was so unhinged. Oh. Whoa, whoa, big damage. Huge, huge, huge damage there. That was really bad. Fudge. Okay. Okay, we got him. That was way, way, way scarier than I thought. Okay, maybe I should not flippantly attack the saber cats. Let's, let's get ourselves back into town. Okay, that would be a really stupid way for this whole run to end. Give me that. Taking it. Taking it back to town. Whew. I actually got scared there for a second. We, that, we need to get healing potions. Or we could talk to this afflicted refugee. I'm calling it. Look at the elbows. Come on. They're practically sunburnt. Called it. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Yep. I suppose I should. You're good. Honestly, I can't look at you any longer. I might vomit. Get out of my face. Also, I can only make fun of the afflicted refugees in this game so many times and put it into a video. I can't make fun of them every video. Put him out of his... Ah, no, I don't know. Ooh, wheat. Take that. It's restore health. Wheat. This is chill. This is relaxing. This is calming. I am enjoying this. We'll start slowly ramping up the difficulty of our encounters, though. I just have to get back into form. We've tried this before. Do you remember? Remember Solstheim when we were doing legendary survival permadeath? If you remember it right, I was on, I think, an eight day break from playing on that character. 
And then I came back and I tried to just confidently jump into some really difficult fights. Game over. That quick. It was done. It was dead. I, I still have that one on my list. That's going to be a doozy to get through, but we're going to do it. We're going to kill Mirak, challenge complete, and then epilogue, try to take out that giant, um, Karstad. Is that his name? Is that the big snowy guy? You think I'm going to die doing this quest? Why would you say that? Are you feeling sick? Am I? I'm just tired. I really don't like these people. They always assume that I'm sick just because I'm tired. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. I work with my mother. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pay. How much gold do I have? 365. I'm going to pay the 100 gold to stay at the inn. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to eat. I don't want to go into this. I want to be risk averse. Let's make some healing potions. Let's do our preparation and then go into the Hall of the Dead. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Yes. What do you mean? I'm still in the Midwest. My skills still apply in the Midwest. Well met, Traveler. If it's work you need, how about shop? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Okay, now we gotta get up there. Excuse me, get out of the way, Scritch. Get out of the way. Five hundred and forty gold still in here from rent that we've paid. Drop off ninety. I'm getting a crazy amount of sleep. We need Bear girls to be well rested. So I need, uh, writing a song. Oh, for you. Why, John? Malice is teaching mm. everything he knows about me know it's 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 Pretty light on food. Do they have any salt piles in here? Well, that's where it started. Yeah, they have a few. I gotta try and get away with stealing it. Or cooked food? Maybe there's just some cooked food laying around. Gotta be something in here. Remember way back when I was looking for straw? We've moved on from straw. We'll, we'll go back to looking for straw later. God damn it. Scritch, I'm gonna get a new pet. Stop interrupting my thievery. Can't a man drink in peace? Ooh, this might work. I can't go behind, but right here. Got it. Nice. Now get off the cooking spit. It's mine. I'm wearing cool armor. I get first dibs. It's like popping off in here. Why is she so mad at this guy? Look, come back tomorrow, okay? If I have anything left, let's take this pie. Excuse me, don't mind me. I just need to wander upstairs with this beautifully baked pie. Can't a man drink Thank you, peace? Thank you. Given the conditions, the people in Skyrim are really good chefs. Chef? Is it? No, the plural of chef is just chefs. But it sounds weird. I want to use it with a V. Wait, Scritch gives me meat? That feels like cheating. Go find food. What? I can tell Scritch to go find food? That does feel like cheating. It goes against the spirit of Iron Man. Alright, fingers crossed there's nothing devastatingly hard in here. Shouldn't be too bad. Maybe a skeleton or two. Nothing insane. Cheese on the counter. All looks normal. 
Food poisoning? When the fuck did I get food poisoning? Was that before or no? Three days? Where did I eat? I got uncooked chicken wings at Applebee's. Okay, enemies. Just a skeleton. All right, not bad. Okay, good. Ooh, this is a good sign for people who uh, voted no. Because it's all in this note, but nobody said it's all in this note. We met with Sadris and picked up the cargo. At least their captain seemed in better spirits, but the others looked exhausted. To make matters worse, the air was flush with the news about the caravans who didn't make it, sieged by dwarven autocannons on the road to Whiterun. I don't like where this is going. If I have to fight dwarven automations, I'm fucked. My worry is such fears will find their way into the minds of my men. Especially when the details of their story seem to corroborate, it only serves to throw more kindling on the flame. Hopefully the other captains have a plan. We've had a few deserters already, and we'll need every available body if these attacks continue. It'll be difficult to convince the men to leave the safety of the tavern for the terrors of the unknown. There wasn't anybody in the tavern I noticed that wasn't a typical Whiterun NPC. Even without this dwarven nonsense, the road ahead will only get more perilous given the copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. That sounds like something I would write into one of my scripts. Dwarven nonsense, the road ahead, uh, copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. That's exactly how I would say it. Captain Enotis has asked us to take a detour with the Drez caravan to Falkreath. Staying off the main road might provide us some cover. Okay, so I gotta go to Falkreath now? Does it actually give me a quest marker for it? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna get there and it's gonna be one of the rolly boys. You know those dwarven rolling guys that pop up? You know, you know the ones I'm talking, the, the rolly balls. I don't know what they're called. The spheres, yeah, the, the, the rolly spheres. That's their official name in game, or at least that's the one I'm giving them. I work My mother. Alchemy. Alchemy, smithing, and then we'll be able to dip out of town. What's our weight? We can only carry five more pounds. No offense, but you're not looking so good. I have food poisoning. I ate a raw chicken wing. Fuck off. Go back to your business, log boy. Well met, traveler. Wait. I know you. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let Are any of these useful? I might have it stored away. Lingering damage magica. I feel like those could be useful. What if I health, regenerate health, restore health? No, we don't want that. Oh, it made a poison. On my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. Yeah, I'm definitely over encumbered after making those. I have to shed some weight. What can I eat? Tomatoes? Do I need 11 tomatoes? I don't want to get rid of all my tomatoes. None of these. Oh, well, one of them does. Hunters. Yeah, get rid of that. One useless pound I don't need. Golden Claw, definitely want to keep that because it's cool. Meridia's Beacon, thanks for taking up space, you useless orb. This guy's got a drum, it weighs four pounds. Can I leave this drum here? No, it's a four pounds for a quest item? Fuck you. 
That's crazy. Half a pound on this unusual gem that I can't get rid of. I need to stop picking up quest items. They're leaving me in the dust. Ooh. Draught of strength. Okay, we'll take the draught of strength. That'll at least give us 30 seconds. Go. Timer starts now. Go. -na -na -na. I gotta hurry up. We'll get to the smithing thing. We smelt some stuff. We'll cut down some weight here. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Okay. I feel like I need some corundum ingots for the house. We're just gonna make a grab bag of different things. Then we'll pop down to transmute. We should be good on weight. Tanning rack adds weight when you break it down into leather. But then we can cut down on weight. Okay, we'll just make a fuck ton of leather strips. I don't claim so now we're back down to 234 pounds. Quick math. Ready for adventuring. That was easy. Quest items have zero weight. Well, it doesn't say they have zero. How am I supposed to know? It says it. I don't... It scares me. Let's get all those potions we made favorited. 17 health potions? All right, this will take us back to Falkreath. I don't remember if we decided whether or not I could use storage, like an actual container to drop things into. It does feel like it goes a little bit against the hardcore Iron Man. Whichever Iron Man in RuneScape doesn't allow you to use a bank. Let's take a quick run. It's the fastest, uh, fastest way to my house. North Bertelshin Pass is a bit scary just because there's a giant camp of saints and or seducers right outside of it. I'll just make sure I have a good amount of stamina, but we'll take the pass through the mountain, cross the lake and be back home. Sailor Res, you're my favorite. Good to see you. How are you? To lose weight, join the fitness school. <laughs> fitness guild? I wish that was a thing. Just get ripped. Worth every septum. I finally caught you, VOD audience, best audience. <gasps> How dare you? What did you just say? That's gonna. Uh, now, the VOD channel is gonna love that one. They're probably going crazy right now. Somebody on the VOD channel right now is typing the exact message. Wow, Borgel91, I really love that you complimented us. Here on the VOD channel, we don't get that many shoutouts directly from Twitch chat, and I really appreciate that you said that. Somebody is typing that exact comment right now at this moment, and I'm going to read it, and I'm going to heart it. Where's my ore? Hey! I've been robbed. Take out my anger on this fox. I need to craft arrows. That's right. That's why I don't have any arrows. I gotta craft them. Worth every septum. Listening to the stream during our car radio. Say hello. Three. You're listening in the car? Well, first off, I, I hope you're not the one driving. Unless you're just listening. If it's just audio, that's okay. But who's in the passenger seat? Also, if there's any quick trips nearby, can you stop by and grab me something? Okay, this should be Brittle Shin Pass. We'll cut through here, up the hill, and we're home. And we're close enough to Falkreath. Although it looks like the yes votes are in trouble. Phasers, thank you. That that's that's a good mindset to have. VOD channel, Twitch chat, main channel, 
I love you all. I just love uh, some of you more. <laughs> I love some of you more. No. If you're here, I appreciate. One sec. Traps? Scritch, scout ahead. Step on that pressure plate. You have no more ore that can be transmitted. This is highway robbery. Should be clear. Ooh, a little enchanting table. I don't know what that pearl did. I ate it, but I didn't. Human heart. Can I eat that? Mmm. Oh, I can. Oh. What if that killed me? Oh, that scared me for a second. What if I died? Whew, don't scare me like that anymore. I was like, maybe it's a creation club thing and it's just a meme item put into the game that instant kills you. Straight through. Did I eat the ash of the guy in Falkreath? I don't remember that. Come here, Wolf. Let me train. Worth every septum. I'm not the one driving. No, ha ha. Also sure we can grab you something though it'll have to be sent from Norway. No oh my gosh, you're all the way out there. Um Oh well you probably don't have Quick Trip. It's the superior convenience gas station. Convenience store slash gas station. Quick Trip is absolutely elite. If you live in the Midwest, you know. If you don't know what Quick Trip is, I mean it is where dreams are made of. Stoners peruse the aisles. And their imagination is just filled with endless snacks, freshly cooked chicken sandwiches, possibly a burger of decent passable quality for convenience store food. Want an egg roll off the roller? It's going to be pretty good. Maybe a mac and cheese dish. It's fairly decent, just needs a little bit of salt. Anything your heart desires at the Quick Trip. This is not sponsored by Quick Trip, by the way. Quick Trip is in the South Sea. Quick Trip is everywhere. Unfortunately, no, they don't sell human hearts. If they did, it would probably still be pretty solid. Uh, where's my house? Ah, oh, shit, my house is over here? Since I was in Iowa, did I ever visit the world's largest gas station slash truck stop? Uh, well, I guess since I don't live there anymore, I'm much more comfortable talking about it. So uh, I was in the Quad Cities. I don't know if anybody ever saw in the news recently about uh, an apartment that collapsed in downtown Davenport. That was about a block from my old apartment where all that happened. Um... So yeah, I've definitely seen the world's largest truck stop quite a few times because when I went to school at Iowa, which is about an hour west of where I lived before, the world's largest truck stop was right on the highway on the way there. I have passed it countless times and it always surprises me when people bring up, it's the world's largest truck stop. It's gotta Thank be- Thank oh, you, time, sir. It's really not that cool. Iowa. It's, it's, it's really not that cool. It's, it's literally just a giant convenience store. That's basically it. It's got a food court like a mall. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a movie theater in there. I'm not sure who's going to see movies at the world's largest truck stop. That seems very anti-road trip. Why are we going twice? Do I get bonus ores? If not, get out of there. There are so many deer all around. Are these my neighbors? I guess I do have neighbors. Thank you, kind sir. Something just happened. I got hit with something. My screen flashed. Uh, 
Steve Whittle, thank you very much for the tier one and for six months. Five months streak, that's awesome. Thank you, kind Lulu sir. Bunny, thank you for the tier one. And while we're at it, Drizz T. I appreciate that. Thank you for the prime. I have been to my neighbor's house before. They suck, don't they? Pine Watch. That sounds peaceful enough. Yeah, it plays scary background noise when I break into my neighbor's home. But they do have food. Very kind of them. Thank you for donating. Ah, that's right. My neighbors have a dark secret in the basement. I don't remember if we explored the whole thing. It feels dangerous. We'll come back to the neighbor's house later. Warning. You've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Roris didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you dung lickers trying to break in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. Okay, okay, all right, so I'm already being threatened by my neighbor. And we'll see how that ends up for you. I'm not going in there right now. I'm not trying to die due to my neighbor's traps. If I die via home alone execution, I'll cry. You can't imitate me. It just sounds like the mud crabs are imitating me. It's kind of unnerving. Okay, so we need straw, but is there anything else we can make right now, given what we have? Stable. Don't need it, but I'll make it. Anvil. Wait, hold on. Time out. Time out. Let's go back to this thing. I need an apiary, so I need straw, a grindstone, iron fittings. Okay, let's get the grindstone. Iron fittings. Did that extend my house? Oh, it's just marked off. Okay, so we still have to build this. There's a whole lot left to do on this house. Main hall door, lock, two hinges, and iron fittings. I'm gonna have to make a shopping list. Two hinges, iron fittings, and a lock. Nice. Slowly getting some smithing XP. Main hall door. It'll cut down some of our weight, too. So this should put a door right there. I guess that's what I did with all this. I just dropped it all. I figured if I don't want to carry it with, I can just drop it there. It doesn't technically count as storage. Okay, so we need 30 quarried stone. I'm carrying 28. Am I able to get more? Is there... Oh, can I take this? Is that straw? Damn it. Quarried stone. There's a deposit. Is that... A, no. Right here. Six quarried stone. And I need eight more nails. Damn, I'm out of iron. Why did I have to turn it all into gold? I right, should be able to make just one more little extension. Coming together. This looks pretty bad, though. All the grass clipping through my floor. No animals yet. How do I get animals? I want animals. 
Also, the weather here is shit. It's always raining. Every time I'm here, it's raining. It's never not raining. It's always overcast or muggy, humid, hot. I'm wearing this stuffy armor. Not built at all for this weather. Heavy backpack. 200 pounds of equipment. Ohio ass weather. Save it. Oh, I guess eh, the, the grass will be gone eventually because we'll just build walls. Bandit checkpoint. Watch where you're shooting. Hey. Easy. Start running so I can stab you in the back. Oh, do your worst. Pretty soon we'll be cutting their heads off. Okay, we should have... Yeah, we're getting close. I am nervous for this, though. Just because I've got a feeling I'm going to have to fight some dwarven enemies. I do have a good amount of potions. I'm just scared. We want more of Tapanella. It's good magic regen. I have to start trying to remember all the little items that I do. How many afflicted refugees am I going to come across? This is the third one now, just on this stream. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Are you finished following me around? Me. I'm gonna have to start clearing them out. We're gonna have to cut down on this infection that's spreading. Okay, everything looks... I'm still scared. Skeleton? Attunement crystal? Oh no, 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 I have to go into one of these dungeons. Okay, this is Valene, I assume. Enados. The reports are right. Wraithguard and Sunder are singing, sending a giant signal out to anyone that might be listening. Don't know why, but this is Valene's voice. I don't know how, but I don't think I know why. But I think I know why. The tools were only meant to be used on Numidium. It makes sense that they would never be allowed to leave Morrowind. To ensure this, Kagranak must have sir. put in a failsafe system. If the tools were ever stolen, drones would be activated across Tamriel to recover them. The drones would then store the items in a vault until a tonal architect could fetch them. This is too much lore. Unfortunately, as I suspected, that information was enough for some of the captains to betray us and change course. They no longer care about the artifacts or the job. They consider the cargo to be a death trap and are taking measures to unload it. Your caravan might think that they were carrying the tools, but Sadras and Halalu swapped them before we ever got to Whiterun and intentionally gave them up to the retrieval drones. Drones? What? Like, drones? Like, flying planes? Fortunately, I managed to track the drones back to a vault near Winterhold. <sighs> what the locals call the Sightless Pit. I've also discovered the vault can be opened with an attunement crystal, which I now have possession of. As I am no warrior, I dare not venture inside without you. Well, you're not going to venture inside with him either. Hopefully this message reaches your party in time, for I know we are of like mind. As a scholar, I want to see the artifacts delivered. Blah, blah, blah. Rest in peace, Valene. And apparently I have to go all the way up north and risk my life. Is that really where we're going? To a dwarven place? I guess if I do get some creation club, oh my gosh, that's far. I don't remember if we allowed fast travel or not. And by fast travel, I mean, you know, uh, taking a boat or a carriage. What do I spend my money on in game or in real life? They are. We did use them last time. That's what I thought. Honestly, we used them pretty sparingly. Uh, no, let's you know what? Yeah, let's risk the entire run on some Skyrim rock climbing. Quarried stone. Make a mental note in case we need more. Scritch? Oh, we almost lost Scritch. He actually just launched himself off the cliff.
Okay, so we're back in town here. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. Trying to think. What did we use? We used salmon row last time, right? We got a lot of salmon row and we made those potions. We were able to get our alchemy. Where is alchemy? Right here. We were able to get it to 50. It's really the only way we could effectively level it up. One handed is good. Heavy armor. Good. Smithing. Not sure how much more smithing we'll need. How the hell did I get enchanting to 26 unless it started at 25? All right, well, there's no carriage in this town. <laughs> if I head this way, things start to get really tough. Kill the bandit leader at knife point. I wonder what that quest is for. Is that for the, is that a bounty in town here? Oh, rules out. I'm glad as well. Looks like we haven't had any issues, which is really great. Still thinking we do the Ethereum quest. Eating all the mushrooms. How does that one start? There were a lot of people. I got a lot of feedback on this, and a ton of people were suggesting that I should just go with the shield in my offhand instead of magic. Which... It definitely is much better. Block is a very good skill tree. Especially once you get the... When you get the perk where if you're blocking in the middle of a power attack, it slows down time. So fun. But I think I'm just going to stick with the build that we have for better or worse. I should definitely try and get new spells, though. I can't buy them. I have to find them, though. Check out this place. Could use a fight or two, some XP. If they're just basic bandits. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. I've been here before. No. <laughs> no. The, yes, yes. Focus on the fox. Don't attack me. Oh gosh, if he's going to shoot at small critters, who's next? Are they really sending the whole entire garrison to chase down a fox? Quick, we need reinforcements. He's getting away. Perfect time to sneak on in. Okay, this is where we lost a character. We got auto-killed here. That's right, they're all orcs. Switch over to where's flames. Damn it, I lost chat. Scritch actively blocking my attacks. Okay, easy. I'm not going in there. I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. Maybe we'll come back here and try to kill that guy. But for now, no. I'm not going in there. You can't convince me to. He ended, uh, I think it was our second Iron Man run. He ended up uh, killing us. So we'll just take the easy kills for now. Lots of hide. I'm going to be over encumbered before I know it. Let's take the goat legs, cook those up later. Maybe we come back here. But there's a named orc inside there who's really tough. Now I can get... Is that dies? I think that was dies from bullshit. North. We'll just follow the mountain ridge and we'll end up there. Alright, let's go bag ourselves a bounty. It's kind of a walk over there.
So while we saunter over there, how's everyone in chat doing? Chat, how are you? Time for a kill count. I think I can look at my stats, right? People killed 134, animals 182, creatures 4, undead 52. How is Nordic Sword my favorite weapon? I only got it at the end of the run. Another one. Look at this. Another one. Thank you, kind sir. This hey is there. a pandemic. This is, these are not afflicted refugees. The run yesterday, but not today, woo. Oh, Screaming Pudding, you didn't miss anything yesterday. The entire stream died. So you're pretty much all caught up. And it's been fairly uneventful so far. Uh, this looks like Spriggan Central. I'm just going to discover it, though, so we can mark it on the map. Oh, this just screams Spriggans. Twilight Sepulcher. Look, it's even got a fancy name. Is that the fox that ran away from the orcs? How you doing, little buddy? I'm proud of you. Oh. Not that proud. I'm proud that he escaped, but, you know... More so so that I could whack him and take the XP. That's the final place. It, oh, is that? That's the end of the Thieves Guild? Look at me not knowing anything about this game. That's because whenever we do our challenges, we don't play a lot of quest content. That's a little bit by design. Just because if we ever do play quest content for any of the challenges or we go through stuff, I haven't played it in a really long time. Although most of the stuff we do, we never really go all the way through a certain quest line. You will include me in the beginning of the year PowerPoint and tell your classes that I'm your favorite. Is that for, are you a teacher? Like, is it is it like a, a get to know me type presentation? Okay, come on, come on. This is, this, I mean, look at that, look at that. That's That's just begging to be climbed. Easy, easy. You just gotta... Oh, oh, wrong button. Smack that space bar. Smack it. Oh, now I'm inside the rocks? I'm inside the rocks! Oh, that was scary. I thought I was gonna suffocate. Or, I don't know, I'd glitch and fall through the mountain and the entire run would die. Lots of red dots. How the hell do they already see me? Yeah. Okay, lots of them. Whoa, you weren't kidding. Bandit outlaw, two bandit outlaws. Let's keep them stumbling and just focus on one. Okay, one down. Keep an eye on that health. Still doing good, two down. Okay, we got two of the big ones out of the way. Looks clear. I need to get more stamina. Yeah. Someone's shooting at me. Screw get out of the fucking way. Oh, it's this guy. I kind of want to try and coax them into Rocky. Look at that teleport behind him. I defy physics at this point. This is easy. Sweet roll. Yummy, yummy. Only 18 points of hunger for a sweet roll is bullshit. If you're in survival mode, get some sugar, get some carbs in you. Nothing of note. We can take a nap here. Okay, yeah, you really weren't kidding. There was a lot. Keep stumbling. Push him back. Whoa, whoa. Hey, with the magic? Wasn't ready for that. 
Let's switch ours to magic. Take theirs away. Mm, I want to save potions here. Aren't you a Breton? Oh, that would have been so cool if he toppled over and fell right into the forge. It looked like something out of John Wick. Cinematic. Whoa, hold on. Oh, party foul, party foul, party foul. Rule violation. Also, these are not my arrows. They just happen to land in my thigh. Damn it. Salt piles, come on. More? Jesus, they don't stop. Okay, this is just embarrassing now. Am I overpowered? I feel a little bit overpowered. But it, no, no, I can't think that way. As soon as I start thinking that I'm overpowered, that's when I get all confident. Hey, hey, what's going on? And then bam, a dragon priest shows up, kicks me in the balls. And I reel around in pain, crying and sad. How did I lose that? That's so dumb. I've seen the future. It happens far too much. Okay, a little bit peckish. Still have some slaughterfish. How am I tired? I just slept for 10 hours. Salt pile. I, God, I love it. I almost like finding salt piles more than iron ore veins. All right, gotta be careful in here. There's the boss. There's the bounty. Let's try to get a good read on their armor. What are they wearing? That looks pretty heavy. Steel plate? Definitely steel boots. I'm not seeing a helmet, which is okay. If they pull out a two-handed weapon, though, I'm probably going to leave and reevaluate. Or maybe we throw on Berserker Rage. I do have it back on. There we go. One-handed weapon. It's dwarven, so that's pretty solid. It doesn't look in... No, they got a staff as well. Fall back, fall back, fall back. They got a staff. Whew. Okay, good call. <laughs> Give me a second. Don't follow me out here. I was not ready for a staff. I haven't seen that before. You think I'm crazy enough to take that on? Nah. Nah. We have 16% resist shock. That's good. We could use our resist shock. Um, we won't be able to hit them with shock to lower their magicka because they're using a staff. They will be fairly defenseless with no shield. Dwarven is going to be decent. It's going to do some damage. I have plenty of healing items. I'm not going into this fight using magicka, though. Mostly stamina. Let's get all that favorited. Let's get all this stamina favorited. We've got our healing favorited. Now, if I go into this door, though... He's going to be able to attack me right away, probably through the loading screen. So let's run back to these beds. Take an hour nap. Hope that he resets. I'm still drained. So dumb. What, what, what is it? Stamina regenerates 25% slower. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take an effective nap here. This is ridiculous. How am I? I'm drained. How much, how much do I have to sleep? Maybe all the murder is keeping me up uh, late at night. I'm rolling around in my sleep. Okay, Berserker Rage. We'll activate. Go through the loading screen. Okay, we can do this. I'm not going to fuck this up. I know there's oil on the ground. I'm going to avoid the oil, though. I feel like it could hurt me. 
If I light the ground on fire, I might step in it. Who knows? Plus, I don't want Scritch to get burnt. Quick menu. Get the quick menu up as soon as we can. Unrelenting force. Ready, go. Oh, you're in there. Your A's behind a locked door. What the fuck is that? You don't just get to lock yourself behind a cage. Unreal. He's a second level of defense I was not prepared for. Okay, okay, okay. This is not good. Shut up, Song. Shut up. I gotta think. I gotta think for a second. That hurts. That hurts big time. Maybe he'll run out of charge. You think he'll run out of charge? Why is he behind a locked door? I've never seen that. Have I saved? It doesn't matter. This is permadeath. I can't. I have no choice. Come on, he's got to run out of ammo, right? Oh, you son of a... Right, well, Berserker Rage ran out. Unreal. Scritch, what do I do? God, you're useless. He doesn't even, he never even says anything comforting. Come on, run out of charge. There's no way he has unlimited ammo. Oh, no, maybe he does. <laughs> nice shot. Ow. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We got to reevaluate. Although if he's stuck in here, let me think for a sec. That's crazy. I've never seen an NPC lock themselves behind a door. Starflower, how are you? We're in the middle of some, uh, some, <laughs> this is, hold on, I, I, We could take Magicka now, or we could leave. It's probably to our advantage to leave, sleep for a day, cook the food that we have if there's a cooking pot outside. Because I lost Berserker Rage, it's gone. Okay, let me at least get my health back. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, hold on. I gotta be careful. I'm standing right on the oil. I don't want his uh, shocks to hit the oil. Burn me. But there's iron in here. I gotta get it. Okay, right over here. We getting any damage there from that? Whoa. <gasps> oh, I already learned that one. Scroll of Mayhem. Take that. Lots of gold in here. Love it. my losses for now let's see if there's a cooking pot here if there's a cooking pot in the camp I'm gonna cook up my food sleep for 24 hours get my berserker rage back go in there beat some ass beat I know how sometimes chat likes to run away whenever somebody says beat followed by ass make sure I emphasize the b no cooking pot How do y'all eat without a cooking pot? Not too bad. Level up. 
Okay, maybe my hunger won't be too bad if I sleep for... I can probably get away with 22 hours and still have Berserker Rage. Magicka Health Stamina. Health is probably decent. Magicka also not too bad. Honestly, I could go with all three. I'm probably... I'm going to take Stamina because I like the carry weight a lot. And then I can't believe I never took the first restoration perk. That's wild to me. I never did. So we're hungry. None of our food is cooked. What's the effects of hungry? I'm still drained. I'm still drained. I'm still tired. We just slept for 20 hours. Total stamina is reduced. Attacks with weapons are 20% slower. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Shoot. I gotta find somewhere to cook my food. We're gonna come back and get this kill, though. I just wasn't prepared for the door. The locked door really... The streamer sleep schedule <laughs> is... Yeah, pretty much. No, I've been really good. Actually, the one great thing that I've done since uh, I moved, my sleep schedule's been awesome. I mean, I no I've been knocking out around midnight, sometimes before... Up at 7.30? I was up at like 7.30 to now. Granted, I woke up at 7.30 and then, you know, farted around on my phone for a while. And then got out of bed. You have to sleep inside. Really? It's because I'm sleeping outside. Never knew that. Fun fact. Today I learned. I'm going to have to include that in the video. Okay, cooking pot. There's gotta be a cooking pot nearby, right? Or am I just gonna have to run around like a fucking idiot? Like, is there one at that tower? Oh wait, there's a little house nearby. Ah, Hunter's Rest. Yep. We can definitely cook at Hunter's Rest. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. No, you're supposed to wait for me. Thank you. How come foxes don't drop meat? Foxen? How come foxen don't drop meat? Oh, this, oh man, I should... I don't know why I haven't utilized the campsite at all. There's probably somebody right now watching on the VOD channel screaming internally, Build a campsite! Build it! Got me some horker loaf. All right, we're set. We got Berserker Rage back? Yes, we do. All right, Scritch, let's go fuck up this mage slash bandit slash coward who hides behind a locked door. We just gotta press the offensive, keep them stumbling, use our hotkeys to buy ourselves some thinking time, wolves. Should probably go kill them. No, we need this bounty. I need cash. I need an influx of funds. I'm damn near broke. I think that's my favorite aspect of this challenge. Only being able to make gold via looting dead enemies, chests, completing quests and whatnot. I really, really like it. It makes sometimes, like, completing a quest and getting 300 gold as a reward actually feels really cool. And it's not even that I'm using the gold for a whole lot of things. It's just fun that I get to get that little dopamine rush of, oh, yes, I have more gold than I previously had. Oh, shit, not now. Am I going to leave this and just be greeted with a dragon? Okay, we'll go in stealthy. And now he's not behind the cage. Great. This would have been fantastic if you were like that last time. Berserker Rage on. Press the offensive. Close the gap quickly. He's back to a dagger. He changed his weapons. Let's just be careful here. Make sure we have full health in case he does zip zap zoopity zap us. 
thanks for ruining the kill cam game. Okay, that was easy. 200 gold, orcish scaled. That's what he was wearing. This armor does look great. Love the look of orcish scaled. Now we can clear out the iron. Big time, that's what we needed. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> once again, anticlimactic. But we made it out in one piece. Probably would have been a decent fight if I didn't abuse Berserker Rage, but it's so good. How can I not? No skill books? No, I can, I can loot skill books. I just, I've already read this one. Conjure Familiar? First try, never broken a lockpick. I do hate the visual effect of Berserker Rage. Loki cut. Oh, it is. It is absolutely busted. Really, the only. Especially in a 1v1. It, the only thing that could really counter it is. If you're doing a dragon priest fight, which I kind of do want to eventually try to do with this character, if we do a dragon priest fight, and there's a bunch of like, you know, there's thank you, two or three dragger. Looking good, Juve. Oh, Panda, thank you. I need to actually, you know, start working out more. Hopefully, look better. Uh, but <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, it could be countered by just a lot of enemies at one time. Like, if you get into a Dragon Priest fight and you're getting swarmed by the Little Draugr, then you might waste it to fight the Little Draugr, where my strategy would be avoid the Dragon Priest at all costs, take out as many of the Draugr as you can without using Berserker Rage, save it, then use Berserker Rage 1v1 versus the Dragon Priest. That would be my strategy. But if it's just strictly 1v1 versus a high-level bandit or something that could potentially get you into a kill cam, yeah, it's really good. Puts the game onto easy mode for a little bit. Okay, so back to Falkreath to turn in this quest. Did I, I didn't miss, did I miss any iron ore veins? Am I gonna end the poll? We'll end the gamble after I complete this next quest. It's, it's a long going one because it was, uh, we were gambling on whether or not we hear that exact quote in this quest and so far we haven't. I just got sidetracked with another objective. What else is new? I probably should have done it just for the Hall of the Dead part. But I committed to having it be for the whole quest. I don't want to break anybody's heart. Ooh, I don't know if I'm ready to do that quest, though. We'll see. I plan on streaming for quite a while longer today. Yeah. Hold on, dog made of bone. Bone dog. Dog of bone. Hound of calcium. Canine of calcium. I, it was right there and I didn't go for it. Where are your friends at? I know you got someone around here. Ooh, these guys hit hard. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Conjuration? Am 
Magical poison could be good if we do fight the dragon priest. They're probably immune to it though. Dragon priest, priests are bullshit. <laughs> they're bullshit. I feel like they're immune to everything. Any challenges or mods to make Skyrim like a new experience again? Uh, I think that there's a lot of... If you want something like completely new, try a Wabajack mod list. I've never played any of them, but I know a few people who have. I honestly would just be curious to see how, you know, just different it feels, because at, at that point, it's like a whole new game. I'm not a big fan of like the big overhauls that really change combat and all that stuff. The ones that have rolling are kind of cool. A little bit of dodge. Gives stamina a bit more utility, which is cool. What is the new long-term goal for this challenge? I think long-term, it's to completely build up the entire house. Long, long-term, I think it would be cool to manually build a set of dragon armor. Oh shit, that's light armor. I specialize in heavy. No, no. Wait, there's heavy dragon bone armor, isn't there? Dragon priest equal undead, undead or immune to... Yeah, there it is. There's the confirmation. What do you want with me? I'm not interested. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed Poke to... Pokef the fearless. Only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening. Looks like that's it. I feel like Pogaf is just the perfect name for a courier. Pogaf. Dragon bone is heavy drag. Okay, yeah, I want to build dragon bone armor. But the thing is, with my carry weight situation, dragon bones are so heavy. I have a mod muse that names all of the basic NPCs, like guards, uh, courier. Bandits are still just bandit. Sid gear can sometimes act too quickly, but All right, Ninja, I just reached level 20, so this better be a good ass payday. Seriously, I am expecting cash, hand over fist. I want it. 500 gold minimum. That's my pay. And you know what? 750. That's what I want. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. You bitch. You Uh-huh. May wisdom forever light your path. May wisdom forever light... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My path towards being broke. I can't pay my property taxes with 100 gold. Citizen. Bounties are always 100. I guess I got more gold from looting the dead body there. Maybe that's part of my payment. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Do I have smelting ca- I, I think I have smelting capabilities at home. The Lord of Stone plus 50 armor and 25% magic resist? Whoa, Zenith, where? Where, 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 where? Where, 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 where? Ho, oh, hold on. Where is that thing at? We might have to change course. I don't think bounties scale with level. We still need iron and straw. We did get a decent amount of iron there. But yes, we do need to find straw. Maybe I'll see if my neighbor has any. Excuse me, neighbor, I need to borrow straw. Oh, cool. Um, are you bringing back my lawnmower? I need to borrow straw. Let me have it. On. There we go. There we go. Thank you for cooperating, Mr. Mountain. See, you know, rock climbing in Skyrim, it just requires a certain feel to it. You know, it's like riding a horse. You just, you have this unspoken communication between yourself and the object that you are riding. Where there's a sense, you can feel it. You, you know, you just have to know how the mountain's feeling. You must be in tune with the rock, yes. Thank you, kind sir. Not quite. I appreciate that. Thank you for the prime. 
Not quite. No, I don't really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, not really. No, thank you. I need to stop going over to my neighbor's house, though. One of these days, he's actually going to be home. No straw. Come on, straw. Nope. No. 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 Can I just break that broom in half and call it straw? Don't need a wooden ladle. Or maybe I do. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve. Hope your day is going well. Straw! My day is going even better now that I have straw. Give me that. Straw acquired. Thank you. Thank you. We worked very hard for this moment. Appreciate it, neighbor. Hey, let's let's play a prank on our neighbor. Huh? Let's play a little nope. Let's play a little prank on our neighbor. He's gonna leave his dungeon basement. And he's gonna come right up here. <laughs> Eh, what a loser. That's what he gets for trying to get his straw back from me. And his hedge trimmer. I'm keeping them. Never getting them back. Who stores straw in a cupboard? You don't store straw in a cupboard? Weirdo. Look at Mr. Unique over here in chat. Doesn't store straw in the cupboard. Okay, sure. What is the anvil? Ah, the anvil's just for this. Gold sapphire ring? We'll do it. Save some weight, get the XP. Oh, we need nails. But we'll, we'll make the apiary, because that's going to be free honey and bees. Plenty of stamina. Iron nails. Where are they? Boom. Nails and clay. Gosh. Building a house is so hard. It's so much work. So much damn clay. Oh, what? Can I build both? No, we're out of sawn logs. I need three logs and five nails. We have to go back to Riverwood to get logs, I think. I don't know if I can produce my own logs. So we'll drop the clay. What's our weight at? 237 out of 260. Don't need that ring. E. Log pile three. What does that mean? If I just chop right here, do I get sawn logs? Half moon mill. Half moon mill. Oh, right over here. Okay, so I can make some over there. We'll, we'll worry about the house later. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Hey, Barry, look at the bees. They're all happy. Die. Die. Welcome to my inventory, bees. I will mash you into a fine drink. Buy logs from Riverwood. We couldn't, but we can buy the logs. I, I think that we discussed buying logs is fair game. It's not an actual trading window. It's a conversation item. It's similar to buying a song from a, a traveling bard. It's similar enough. Also, it's my channel and my challenge, and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> All right. House is coming along well. We're making some progress. Honestly, more than I thought we would be. And my stream hasn't exploded yet. Knock on wood. 
When we get to Riverwood, though, chat, I'm going to go grab a real quick snack because I am hungry and I haven't eaten a single thing all day except for water. So you guys are going to get to hang out with Chair for a bit. That's fun. Isn't that fun? Oh, I wonder if Ember Shard, I know it says it's cleared, but it'll be really nice if we can go back through Ember Shard and remine everything. That would be very RuneScape. Hitting the same location we already did to clear out all the ore. I wish I could be. Why did. Okay, what happened? Uh, like, and I know people liked chair before, and on most streams, people really enjoy chair. Everyone loves chair on any stream. But I feel like people in this chat have gotten much more excited about chair recently. Why? Today it's exclamation point rules, and I made sure to put a TLDR at the beginning of it. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Oh, he's using the log. Oh, God. Just have to sit here. Time out. You guys will never guess it. But my stream deck broke. What a surprise. Now it's working. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve. How are you doing today? Jory? I'm doing fantastic. I'm just glad to actually be live and enjoying this. This is actually fun. I, you can't load another log right now. I'll load a log up your ass if you keep me away from doing this. Come on. Come on. Let me go to work. Yes. Let me have a rule in a saw and a board now, could it? Hard work. Working hard every day to build a dream home for me and my non-existent family. Here for work. Get an axe. Bring me all the wood you can chop. I like how I don't get charged for this. I just get to take his... I get to take his logs. Look at that animation. Look at the detail. You can really tell that the log is being cut in half. Hold on, I want to... Take a screenshot of that. I want to put another log on there and I want to see if no, they do disappear. Ha! Ah, I caught you in the act. Fraudulent logs. I'm shutting down this fraudulent business. Stay away from my logs. It's no, it's my turn. It's my no, it's my. Oh, you son of a. I hate you, Hod. I hate you. I don't like Hod anymore. Guy sucks. He's got disappearing logs. He jumps in front of the line. He won't let me cut his logs for my personal use. And Durak is still in town. Go home. <laughs> Get... Yeah, you change your mind. The Dawn Guard could use somebody like. I'm not joining your club. Go home. Is he gonna show up in every town that I go to now? Somebody said that the Lord Stone was east of Morthal. Well, I haven't really been near Morthal. It's probably in the swamp. Lots of spiders. Not nothing too scary. We're probably okay over there. Hod the log hog. Yeah, he's a log hog. 
Deer, there's a deer. I need to make arrows. Why am I not making arrows? Keep forgetting. Oh. I heard the fluttering of birds and it kind of shocked me. I told you all about the story how I got chased by birds a few times, right? I've told it a few times. But I have, uh, like, this actual fear of birds now. And in the new neighborhood that I live in, there's actually... There's, like, birds. You know, that just chill. You know, around the neighborhood, in the trees, on the stop signs. Wherever. They're just birds. You know, they're hanging out, doing bird shit. Not shitting, but just doing, like, miscellaneous bird activities. And the other day, one of them was, like, kind of close to me, and it kept, like, chirping. Whoa. And my brain was interpreting this as a hostile act. Like, my personal space is about to be invaded by uh, an apiary creature. So I, you know, responded to this dangerous stimulus that my body was convincing me is real by, like, not running. I'm not, I'm not, oh, I thought I was on the, I thought I wasn't on the gameplay screen. Oh. I was about to shit myself. I, th I, th I thought I had the wrong screen up. Directly east of Morthal on the map and on top of a big ass mountain. Should we walk there? Would it be fun if we walked? I mean, we're not going to run into too much danger. Knock on wood. Anyway, I got attacked by a, or I didn't get attacked by a bird, but my internal stimulus kicked in when I heard that bird chirping and not getting farther away from me. So I, you know, kind of shuffled away fast. I didn't run. All right, but I did shuffle. Not a run, small shuffle. Huge difference. Uh, like if you're at a bar and two people are about to be in a scuffle right next to you, you kind of shuffle away, you know? You kind of, one of those. But you don't full on sprint to the other side of the pub. <laughs> Run away! Unless you're like an Oblivion NPC. If you're an Oblivion NPC, then yes. As soon as a fight breaks out, run! Guards, come quickly! But in real life, that doesn't happen. It was a... It was an athletic dodge. <laughs> it was a, that's the, hey, I'm just going to keep making this sound more and more impressive as I keep retelling the same story over and over. It was a test of agility, right? And I passed. Hey, never been to this part of the map. Oh, it's going to be nighttime. See, I need to invest in camping supplies. Why have I not invested? We're really just going on foot. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to walk to Morthal. How far is it? It's kind of far. We could cut through the mountain and it'd be faster. There's a pass right here. Oh, look, you can see little arches right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can. There's arches right through here. Not the good kind of arches either. Golden arches. Why go to Morthal? I would like to acquire the Lord Stone. Extra armor, magic resistance. It just seems smart to do. It's, it's the responsible choice to make right now. And being responsible has kept me alive this entire time. As well as some RNG once or twice. Labyrinthian? Is that where we're going? I'm down if it causes some drama. I'm in. Sir, it's snack time. You're just trying to get rid of me so chair can take over. I shouldn't have, I should have never mentioned it. I'm going to kill Chair on stream one of these days. Murder him. Cut through the mesh back of this chair. Break it at its hinges. Is that a horse? Is that the headless horseman? No, it's just a really big fucking elk. Maik knows why Farmer are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing. Really. 
Thanks, Chief. Man, I need arrows. Really need to get some arrows. It's kind of killing me that I can't snipe these deer right now. Okay, mountain pass right up through here. We follow it through. I'm getting tired and a little bit hungry. Leg of goat roast. Okay, so we have cooked food. I'll wait until we get our next hunger pang. Okay, why are the mud crabs actually really good in this game? Like, they're tough. They aren't fucking around. You gotta, they, they hit the weight room between Oblivion and this game. In Oblivion, they're just useless wimps. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That was close. Like what? I'm wearing fully souped up heavy armor, upgraded to flawless, and I'm still getting my ass kicked by mud crabs. Now that would be hilarious if the entire run ended with me getting killed by a mud crab. I think that would be glorious. Oh, here we go. We got him. We got him. Dual flames. That's right, Bambi. Burn. Oh. Let me use ancient dragon magic to do my hunting. Still using a bow and arrow? Hmm. Try being born a god. That's how dies by bullshit should have gone out. Yes. I wouldn't be. I mean, yes, I would be very sad and upset if I died by a mud crab and it ended the entire run. But there would be a part of me going. Or thinking that that is really funny. And people would get a kick out of it, but I'm not going to willingly die by mud crab. I'm not going to let myself lose. All right, this is a cool as shit part of the map. Sun is setting. Arches are only getting bigger. Okay. I see why people were a bit excited with me taking this route. Don't hurt the fox! Oh, you. Okay, he's coming in hot. Frost troll, gonna be a bit tough. I'm already getting a little bit cold. And I do not have Berserker Rage right now. No, we already heard that one. No, no, not a good one for this moment. Too slow. Okay, maybe a little bit too excited, but I don't care. We're gonna take out this frost troll. We just have to be smart. Oh. Keep him stumbling. Barely any damage. Uh, no, actually damage is decent. Well, let's keep the flames on him so they're taking constant damage throughout the fight. Two attacks. Whoa, okay, that attack does big damage. Stumble. Don't let him heal. Holy Christ, these guys are tough. One hit, two hits. the way, Scritch! Two attacks? No. Only one. Get 
Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. One down. Wow. Okay, that's one. That's one frost troll. <sighs> and we're cold. We're getting a lot of debuffs from the cold, so this is a bit stressful. Scritch, your purring is going to get us caught. Let's not. I don't have enough healing potions to get us through another troll. Rest in peace, Mr. Fox. Thanks for being our frontline fighter. Okay, definitely got one troll down there spotted. This place is massive and really cool looking. Well, I'm not here to sightsee. We need to get to Morthal ASAP. Good. I like that little side shuffle sneak, right? Doesn't it look kind of happy? It looks like a very confident, like, mm, mm, like I'm bouncing. You know, some confident bounce to my step. Watch the ledge. Air is treacherously cold. Oh, look, they're, they're like on patrol. These are coordinated trolls. Already spotted. Really? That fast? We gotta hurry up. We're getting, we're only getting colder. Our health is decreasing. Where's the main entrance? You know what? Fuck it. I'm jumping over the wall. Oh, crap. He's gonna meet me on the bridge there. Let's ride around. Try as best as we can to stay away. Um, no. I'll pass. I'm not going in there. Scale the mountain down. Nice little escape. I wouldn't be able to go through that dungeon. I cannot believe I'm level 20. And still, I would have needed Berserker Rage to make that a semi easy fight. Oh, hell yeah. More ore. Will I be playing bingo again? Yes, I'm cut. We're going to do bingo after we do this. And I have a whole new way that we're going to do it. It's going to be interactive. Chat's going to be playing their own version of bingo while I do my bingo board in game. I'm going to prepare, you know, a bunch of different saves so that we don't have to wait for the 20 minute uh, timer to randomize the whole map. It'll be permadeath. I have over 100 bingo board items made for me. I have around 100 bingo board items made for chat. Every time I die, I'm going to refresh my board, but I get to choose a few that I want to lock and throw into my bank of items that I've completed. It's going to be fucking awesome. Trolls have 5 million power in Rise of Kingdoms. What is the, is the original of that? Uh... What is the original? I know I've seen it before and it's really fucking funny. Do I have any fun challenges to get back into Skyrim? Like you would like to get back into Skyrim? I would say uh, no trading. A light version of this, no trading at all. So any gold that you find? Um, okay, actually no. I don't wanna say no trading, but I'll say no selling. We gotta get out of the cold. This is bad. My vision is blurry. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he keeps calm spaghetti. Spider. Already launching at me from a distance, dude. Can't do this right now. Scritch, you're kind of becoming a liability at this point. Oh. Weakness to fire. Good. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep moving. We gotta get to Morthal. I'm moving so slow. Where's that food? Leg of roast. Uh, I need to get that fire soup. What's that soup we made that has fire salts in it? That was great for us. Using a torch slows getting cold. Do I have a torch? 
B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T. Nope. Hot potato soup, is that the one we made? We pretty much saved our life. Whew, not too worried about it though, we made it. Thank Christ. I do have on my short list of quests that I'd like to do with this character. I would like to do Morthal's quest because their Jarl only has bangers for dialogue. Supposed to feel safe in our own homes. Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We've no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems. Oh, he just walks as away as... mid speech? Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. Morthal used to be a quiet place. I'm a strange man in a strange land. Oh, actually, Bear Girls is a woman, but you know what I mean. Christ, we made it here. Kick off your boots, stay a while. But damn it, now I have to pay rent again. I'm so sick of paying rent. It's eating away at all of my funds. I should have thousands of gold. I've given it all away to rent. Okay, now I can probably go get a snack. Unpopular opinion, Morthal is one of the best sounds. Morthal is underrated. Morthal is very underrated. Why, good evening, Yana. What can I get you, Alva? What can't you get me, sweetie? Y'all ready to get funky? <laughs> the most important I'll be back. I'm going to grab a snack. So now let us listen to the music and identify the beat.
every septum. Cheer 500 this isn't for Jew, but Cheer Juve Dagath dance. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys want more time together? Am I interrupting something? Redundant, I'll pass on your message to chair. Thank you. All right, sorry to be a fun crusher. Guess what I got? Turkey sticks. Juve and Chair collab. Yeah, it's a crossover episode. Uh, did you want something to eat? Eat? No, I don't hmm. think I'm. Hold on, I need full immersion. Not now, at least. Right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, tell me if you change your mind. Oh, Gorm. My gosh, I'm chilly. Why am I chilly? Not right now. Anything new? Still the same. I tell you, something's got to be done. When the time is right, friend. When we're sure. The longer we wait, the worse it gets. Let's talk about it some other time. No. I must not let the wenches of this world distract me. Would you like to buy a lady a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey! Hey! I'm, I'm trying to enjoy a show here! Eat a snack! The fuck? Dude! Dude! Get, get off me! After all you've put that man through, you should be more loyal to him. I'm getting surrounded. The orc is staring at me. Thank you. Jesus. Could at least back me up, Scritch. Damn. A new fi <laughs> Anuf immediately goes into playing insane flute. You take it, I'm going to kill each wild goat that I see? Why would I kill... Why do you want me to kill the goats? Hmm. Yeah. All right, I need to get a bed here. Welcome to the moor side. If you need, sure thing. It's yours for a day. Is business in Morthal slow? What's with the orc? Yeah, what's with the orc? He's staring at me mid-concert. Lurbuck? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them. But, well, <clears throat> look around. Uh, hey, uh, look around. Why don't you look at what's right in front of you? Paying customer here. And slightly annoyed at everyone's antics. Goats have the hardest to get non-merchant building material. Oh, for the house? Maybe I should be murdering goats. Although if there's a bounty in Morthal, I kind of want to go after it. I've been having fun with these bounties. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Orothheim. Sounds like an operation. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Hey, you want to come to the my block party? Can't. I'm getting an orothyme procedure done this weekend. Long recovery process, about two weeks. No, not the orothyme. No, it does. It does sound dental. Well, because dental, ortho. Let me know when 
know if there's anything else you need. Or wait, no. Ortho isn't mouth. Because isn't orthopedic foot? Or is that podiatry? Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Bones? Oh, it's bones in general. Get out of here. All right, so the Lord Stone is directly east of Morthal. I haven't looked this up. I haven't confirmed it. I am just putting all of my faith into chat. I don't remember who suggested this. Ooh, I don't want to go directly into the water. I'm going to be cold. Jump, jump, jump. Works well enough. It's got to be in the middle of this swamp, right? It's weast? Well, I know I can have this house for free, and there's a ton of stuff in it, but that goes against the entire spirit of the challenge. So we'll be avoiding it. Plus, that's where my two adopted kids, uh, that's where Cade and... Oh, not the chorus. Did he just kill a chicken? What did he just kill? Oh, he killed a wild bunny. Dick move. What was that? What was that? Something squelching nearby. Ooh, you don't creep up on me like that. This looks like an ore vein. It is an ore vein. I'm starting to spot them. Like, I have a built-in perk that makes them light up. Decked witches. Whoa, 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 go, go, go. Move, 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 move. We're being splurged on. Okay, go. We gotta be quick. See him over there? That little fucker on the island? He's hitting us with his monster gleek. Okay, we could go to the mine up here. No, Lord Stone. You're letting me get distracted. I don't see it on my map, though. Right next to Marin Dagon Shrine. Sir. That doesn't really narrow it down for me because I'm an idiot. Adanoof, thank you for the Prime and Elven Cookies. Thank you for gifting a tier one to Dark Star Dragon. I appreciate that. Thank you both. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're having fun on this adventure. That's been relatively not low energy. But it's our 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 Big blow up moments have been, I guess, sparse. Normally a VOD watcher, but we're happy to have you here. I do love that VOD channel. Y'all, y'all are my best friends. Fine, we're going to the mine. We'll go to the mine. We're already here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anybody see that? Anybody see that? There was an awkward space in the word stone. Go back and watch it. You'll notice it. It was there. The kerning was off. Are they gonna mad at me if I go in here? Wouldn't ever have expected to wind up living in a place like this. But the money's good. This is how uh, Midwest Americans actually dress in the winter. Short sleeves, maybe some pant. Just a little bit of pant. The second it hits 55 degrees, this guy's wearing short shorts. OK, 
Okay, but where's the mine? I see the quarried stone. Is it in his house? Oh. Right here. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. For what? For me? I, it must have been hard to do your job normally before I finally arrived, but I'm here now to save you from your boredom. Okay, Rock Wallow Mine. I feel like I've been in here before and I angered everybody on accident. Mining is hard work, but we pay a fair price for any ore you dig up. Oh, I'm not giving them my ore? Now that I'm in Minnesota, will I be going to any Timberwolves games? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe if I get invited to one, sure. I wouldn't say no if I was able to fit it in my schedule. Yeah. Um, Let's make sure we're just as productive. As not a huge NBA guys. fan, mainly because the Bulls suck. I was really into it when Derrick Rose was playing for the Bulls, but unfortunately, those Bulls teams that were always very good. They uh, uh, routinely met one LeBron James in the playoffs, and we always basically just got bounced pretty easily by them. So I haven't been super into it in a while, but I would love to go. But you bet your ass if it was a Bulls-Timberwolves game, I'm acting like the biggest Bulls fan in the world as soon as I get there. I know that we're going to... Um, I know that my family and I are going to Monday Night Football this upcoming season. Bears at Vikings, which is going to be fun. I love being a road fan for games. I think it's so much fun because it's, it's kind of a risk-free venture if you're a road fan. As long as you play it right and you're not a dickhead, right? Most people will razz you a little bit, you know, if you're a road fan. But for the most part, people are wholesome about it. So... If you lose, you know, you might get a knucklehead or two that talks some crap to you. But from what I found, most people are pretty kind, just from my experience. And I like being on the road. Because if I lose, it's like everyone else around me is happy. The vast majority of people around me are really pumped. And if we win, I'm in this special little club of like, yeah, I won. All of you are miserable right now. So I like being a road fan. And, and when you run into other uh, fans of the same team who are on the road, you kind of had this instant connection and friendship. It's a very unique thing. It's like the same Watch vibe as maybe going to a concert. Thank right? you, kind sir. Pebbles, thank you for the prime. The prediction, please. I'm never finishing the quest. We're going to leave that prediction on the whole time. Does it show up if I go over to the gambling scene? If we come over here? No, it doesn't actually show the prediction down there anymore. It's just gone. We can complete the quest after I get the Lord Stone. Someone said it's by the Shrine of Mayrun's Day. Okay, East from Morthal, my butthole. This is far. Although Mayrunes is up here. Oh, the stone is on the mountain. Well, that's not easy. Mountains are dangerous. Maybe this guy has a cooking pot in his house. I definitely have to get a bite to eat before I do anything like that. Let's see if he has salt piles. I gotta be careful too. I am teetering right on the edge of being over encumbered. There it is. Thanks for inviting me into your house. Can, help you? Can you help me? Uh, yes, I need your need wife that. to get off the cooking pot now. I'm. Oh my god, she almost got. She's being attacked. Oh, we're under attack from uh, the cauldron. 
How much health did she lose? I wish I could see. Don't bother the miners. They've got work to do. Nothing here but the mine. Probably best you keep moving. Okay, probably best we just hide you away and we never hear from you again, huh? Seems like a fun time. Yes. Don't mind me, just while he's in the middle of enjoying his dinner. The hands of a deft thief can get away with almost anything. He's got a lot of iron here. Oh, I could, yeah, I could have done a command. Got her health. Let's cut down some weight. Uh, steel ingots. Yeah, we get a two for one cutting down on weight if we make steel. Fighting. Us, I suppose. I guess the Empire's... Iron, but with all the fighting. That'll be good for I should have made a corundum ingot there. I'll need one for the house. Damn, venison chop is really good. 380 points of hunger. Trying to spy. This looks like a walkway. Not 100% sure, though. We're going to have to be careful. I will audible out of this adventure so fast if it gets dangerous. Let's try and get ourselves the Lordstone. Get down from this mountain. Sleep somewhere. Chillax for a bit. And then we can move on to try and complete the quest that chat has a lot of channel points writing on. Come on, feel the mountain, feel it, feel it, sense it. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Feel that anim- feel the animation of that rock formation. Nice, just- you just have to understand it. It's a different kind of science. I didn't get my degree in information systems. I actually got it in uh, Angular Scientology. Not that kind of Scientology. Angular. Elvin, thank you very much for gifting a tier one. Sorry, I, I need to figure out if there's a gift alert. Okay, now we're getting cold. This is a problem. Let's try this rock. This one looks pretty decent. No, not decent. Being a little bit of a problem. Move it left. No, not going this way. That's okay. Mr. Mountain. Thank you. There you go, Mr. Mountain. Nice. Okay, we're on a little bit of a heater here. Though I'm running out of room. Let's work it back this way. Nice. Oh, no, no. We're losing a little bit of progress now. What's going on here? Shit. Wow, this is bad. Yeah, that looks possible. Mm, lots of footholds here. We're gonna go there, and then we go right up there. right here it's right here fuck's sake come on chair would not have been at the top
Oh my god, I'm, I'm literally just going right back to this place. I don't want to go there. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna, I gotta bail out of this operation. I'm already getting too cold. All right, I'm actually disappointed in myself that I could not do that. Woo, easy with the jumps and the falling and the damage. Potential damage. Chair emo lots. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking for uh, chair emotes. I mean, maybe you never know. One of these days, I'll surprise you. What about a chair graphic? What if like I hit a button and chair in all of his glory? I'll have to like set up a picture where I can put my chair on a green screen. So, Gert, how are you? No, no, no. Y you are not getting a monk robes emote. That is not happening. Okay, there's got to be a better way up this mountain. Um. Yeah, it looks like the best way is through that little fortress I was in. Back up that way. Or I go around and come up the backside. Or no, there's a path right here. All right, let's warm up. Is no theft still a thing? I don't think theft or no theft was ever a thing. I think I started off maybe saying we wouldn't do theft, but then I haven't really had to steal a lot. All right, come on, let's warm up. What the hell's going on here? Do I have to stand directly on top of the flames? All right, now we're good. Let's move. What was that? Somebody just get home? Frost Atronach, Bandit Plunderer. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold on, hold on, run! No, I'm stuck! Ooh, okay, that's good damage. I was gonna say, if he just made that Frost Atronach short work. You're right. It does end right now. Plunderer. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Decent amount of gold on him. Let's make use of Berserker while we have it. Bandit Thug, Conjurer. Got him. Ooh. That was much more stressful than it really needed to be. Conjure Haunting Spirit. Summons a Haunting Spirit for 60 seconds. When killed, the spirit steals 10 points from the skills of its killer and transfers them to the caster for a short time. It's kind of good. Depending on the fight we got in. Like if we were fighting a two-handed demon and they killed our little conjured spirit. I could see that being pretty good. Okay, am I at the part? Yeah, it looks like there's a path up the mountain right around here. Here it is. No, here it not is. This is just another damn, oh, there's another entrance. 
What do we got? Bandit? Thank you, kind sir. I like how they all were one hit from dying so we could get a quest. Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Uh, I, no, I'm good. We don't need to fight. Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins here. Friend of mine went crazy and stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. Look, I'm done here. Mop the floor with these idiots for all I care. Just get out of my way. Not in your way. Not even stopping you. You approached me in conversation. Also, I helped you in that fight. Uh, I am more than okay. More than okay not fighting the pale lady. I've done this boss fight before. It has kicked my ass many a time before. I'm more than okay skipping it. Let's heat up, though. I have to, like, get onto the spit. I have to just cook myself in order to warm up. There we go. Yeah, just stand directly on the flames. How do I pronounce it? Is it KK? Is that how I say that? Well, welcome. If this is your first time here, it's good to see you. We're trying to get up to the top of this mountain and get the Lord Stone. It's proving to be way more difficult than I thought. I really thought that my rock climbing skills would have come in handy here. Looks like there's a, another potential path to our left. Also, I don't have a torch. People keep asking me to use my torch. I don't have one. I can set the ground on fire, but that won't warm me up. This has got to be it. Has to be. Our long and arduous journey may be coming to a midpoint. Definitely not the end, but the Lordstone is a really good buff. If it is the same buff that you all have preached it to be. I might have to go through this cave. I bet there's a frost troll outside. No, it's just a bunny. Oh! He actually survives. There, now we got a torch. Happy chat. Now I'm keeping myself warm. And now the torch is gone. Oh, wait, I might not be able to carry this. I'm going to be out of carry weight soon. It's right up here. I would really prefer that our path not take us to that word wall. I just feel like word wall. Yeah, it's taking us to the word wall. Should be okay. I'm confident enough. I'm not fully confident. I never want to be fully confident. That leads to my downfall. What was that? No, 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 no. We do not like ice race. Shit, and I just used all my stamina. Stamina bag, uh, resist frost. I don't have any resist frost. Completely forgot about ice raids. I don't want to kill these bandits. Ah! 
fuck off and let me take my Lord Stone. Are more resistant to both magic and physical damage, except. No, Ice Wraith is here. We gotta jump. I'm jumping. Take the stamina back. Gone. I'm getting off the mountain. Whew! I think the Ice Wraith might have hit that bandit instead of hitting us. Because I didn't get any negative cold effects. And the bandit, their health drained to zero really fast. <laughs> Got out of there really fast. That was close. That's Scritch. I heard something purring or growling. Every time I hear Scritch in the background, I think it's something about to kill me. Where was that little mining town? It's just over here. It's probably a good idea. I, I think we might want to work our way to solitude, fast travel to Winterhold, and then work our way to the sightless pit. I have to prepare for cold weather a little bit more. This is getting serious. I wasn't expecting a venture in the tundra. You know, this was going to be a chill stream. We were going to just hang out for a little bit, get our bearings back, not jump into anything too scary. Could go to Dawnstar. Uh, yeah, but you see, if I go to Dawnstar, that means I just have to go further into the cold and further through more cold territory that I'm not ready for. If we pass Morthal and go to Solitude, then we're just dealing with Swamp. A lot less cold we have to deal with. Dawnstar and Morthal have no cares. Yeah, that's why I want to get to the Solitude. Plus, at Solitude, we can load up, make some potions, chill for a bit. Watch, maybe watch an execution together. Hmm, that would be fun. Good to see you, Kenny. How are you? Is there any other DLC that I feel would be worth a poke at in Iron Man? I still think we're going to be able to explore Hearthfire a little bit more, right? Because last time all we did was build the original house instead of going too in depth with it. Maybe we get married. I'm watching you. Yeah, we could get married, adopt a kid. Although objectively, we probably have to go for Cade. I like Cade a lot. Shit, there goes our... Ooh. I mean, we haven't married Balamond in a while, and Balamond comes with a free... He does give us 100 gold every day. I love Balamond. We'd have to find fire salts, though, which is pretty tough. I think we have to find 10 fire salts. So in order to do that... Because we can't buy fire salts. Are there any are there any other spouses that give you a... They all give you 100 gold? I thought they all, ga all gave you a... I thought they all gave you 100 gold. Or not, they, they all, if they own a store. Oh, but at Hearthfire, it's different, because the, the house at Hearthfire can count as production. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots and stay a while. What type of video game franchise has the scariest spiders? Grounded. Grounded has the scariest spiders. I don't think it's really close.
Lilith, chill. We'll find a suitable spouse. Camilla gives 100 gold. Oh, we well, we already did kill Feindal. So now that Sven has no competition, it would be kind of funny to break Sven's heart. Still, he has no competition now in his way. Oh, wait, we have the Golden Claw. We have the Golden Claw. Wait a minute, I know you. Just stay out of my way. Just stay out of my way. No. What the Just hell are you? Stay out of my way. What are you even doing here? Oh, this is where the big bad bandit goes? Just stay out of my way. Okay. Thought you'd have a little bit more to say than that. All right, solitude's not too far from here. I'm kind of impressed. We went from on foot. We went from house to white run to house to falk wreath to over here to falk wreath all the way through the mountain to Morthal up here. In a fairly short amount of time, we've been moving around this map. Zooming. So wait, I want to see what the actual bonuses I get from the Lord Stone. Increases armor rating by 50 and magic resistance by 25. That just feels so overpowered. I guess 50 isn't insane. It puts my armor rating at 307. Yeah, that's a that's a 20% buff in my armor. That's pretty big. Anyway, you slice it. Do I want to get too cocky in this forest? See, that's why I don't want to get too cocky. <laughs> Sorry, get away from my chest. Pickpocket or lockpick, nice. I wish they had more lines. It's all just, I mean, I wish I had more lines in real life too, because it really does sound a lot like me when I'm angry. God fucking damn it, mother fuck, you know? Like if I lose this run, that's how I'm gonna sound. We should be through the swamp soon. Solitude, we'll see. Why am I not seeing solitude? Oh, there it is. I am now seeing solitude. You thought the Nernru was in your game? All this investment in stamina I've made, and I'm always out of breath. Always.
Once again, raining. I know I can't use vendors, but I'd really love to buy a fucking sunny day. Take care of the horses and the goats and the chickens. Is that Cade? And the garden. No, it's Blaze. Blaze up, kid. <laughs> Trying to blaze? Come on. Just kidding. He's too young for that. Did Jabo stream end up finishing? Bruh, man, how'd they, uh, how far did he end up getting money-wise? I feel like that would take a while in Kenshi. If I was, if I was trying to fast-track making a million, uh, what is it, cats? I think that's the currency in Kenshi. If I was trying to make a million cats, speaking of a million cats in one place, if you've come to to join the league, my strategy would be, it would be boring, but I feel like the easiest way is to have somebody in your party who has a buff to their armor crafting speed and then I would just make master craft or master work armors because they sell for like 12 grand each. Do a face reveal for one million so- oh, shh, hold on. Position. Far you need to go. Go. Home and stay. There until your mother comes. You should be a traitor. Trade his high king. Best she know now. All right. Rogvia, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that. Look at this legend going down swinging. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair. Even on his deathbed, he says, fuck it. Actually, I need that. I need that drop in that song to happen right when he gets his head cut off. Except, hold on, it's not gonna happen fast enough. Oh shit! What do I do? Uh. uh. Well, no, this song is too quiet and it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now that that's out of the way, important things first. What did you miss? Well, we've worked our way all the way to solitude. We're going to do some preparation in here, make some potions if we have any to make. And then I want to make a move over and finish this quest so that we can finish the prediction that everyone gambled on. 50? Oh, it's because I have negative uh, buffs right now, so the potions won't be as effective. Not over encumbered, beautiful. Check our food. I could use another bite to eat. Let's go steal some food from the inn. And then we'll hit the carriage and pair away to Winterhold. And we can try this quest out. I'm scared. I am very scared for this quest. If this is the end of the run, so be it. But I'll be pretty sad. No, mushrooms sleeping at the inn, it doesn't affect how powerful they are when made. It only affects how powerful they are when you consume them. But we can sleep when we get to the next spot. We'll have to since it's going to be... A I totally just ran out without grabbing any of the food. Oh, well. We'll find some in Winterhold. I should have an infinite stream? No way. I can, take you to I can never. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. 50 gold? Once was I here You're named rag. I didn't ask you to sing. I didn't ask you to sing. I've never gotten into an Uber before and been like, hey, driver, hit me with your best acapella. Please. And you'd have me How come 
here in winter. Join the college my pa says about people like me. Your pa says people like me. What? <laughs> Excuse me, young. Are bad and not to trust them. Excuse me, young man. Unless you're bringing me another round. I'm not an elf. I'm an orc. It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. Ugh. This. Not interested in your dialogue. Give me a bed. Come on in. We got warm food. Maybe they have some straw in here, though. If you have business with the college, sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Until next time. Another 90. Thankfully, I didn't get caught. Six hour power nap. We're good, just a little bit hungry. Venison chop, now we're back up full. They don't have very much cooked food here. It's mostly just bread. There we go. Salmon steak, that's what I'm looking for. We may not have as much salmon. But we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. Let's take these. How long are we gonna let Ranmere drink himself into a stupor? When will enough be enough? As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. He keeps himself and isn't hurting anyone. Oh, are you sure of that? I think Birna might disagree with you. It's not my place to get involved. So much drama at this inn. It doesn't surprise me. You know, up here in a town like Winterhold, it's gotta be so fucking boring. They just probably invent their own drama. Okay, so... Looks like we hang a Larry. There's a path that should open up. Yeah, if we move left, there should be a right turn, but it's cold out here. Can we go up this way? Would I recommend Skyrim to someone who's never played it before and knows nothing about it? Yeah, that's the best way to play it, actually. If you've never played any of the Elder Scrolls games before, I say just... Mm, I'm good on fighting a bear. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Let's keep moving up. Uh, spin a wheel, whichever one it lands on, play that Elder Scrolls game, see what happens. If you don't enjoy it, try a different one. Rinse and repeat. Eventually. It should click. Uh, polar bear. Normally I would try and save you, Mr. Goat, but I'm gonna let you sacrifice yourself. Oh, we don't like snow bears. Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. I'm gonna save Berserker. I'm not getting involved with this bear at all. Nope, I am going to stand here. And I'm not moving. Tiger, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Nope. Nope, this is an economical decision. It's about being smart. Get some magic back. Where'd that wolf go? Oh, he's just running around. He's playing. He's so excited. Actually, I gotta hurry up, otherwise I'm gonna get too cold out here. Good outcome. I don't think I would have won that fight straight on if I took him on from the beginning. 
Let's take the goat hide. I think we do want the goat horns. I think they're good for the house. But we're running out of space. Very quickly running out of space. I think we're gonna make it. Are they important? Should I murder this goat as well? I feel like I should relax on how many goats oh. I kill. Nah, fuck it. He's within range. I'm gonna take that goat hide because I'm gonna use enough potions to where we shed off one or two pounds in this dungeon. Probably more. Fingers crossed this is not the end. Please don't be the end. Oh my god, don't be the end! Where the fuck did you come from? Where? Oh! Hi! Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Use the rock, use the anti-bear uh, rock. We gotta create some distance here. Why is it always the fucking bears? It's always the bears! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, is the entrance to this cave close by? I might just gun it right for the cave entrance. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, fuck, it's Falmer. Who are you? Don't you dare talk to me. I'm going in. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a one way. Oh, no. It's a one way entrance. <gasps> At least Scritch made it down the hole, but... Oh, no, 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 I am screwed. Okay, at least we have warmth in here. That's good. We have two salmon steaks that can tide us over for a little bit. What do we have for healing? We have 13 healing potions. 14. I guess 15. I guess 17, that doesn't really count. Neither of these regeneration ones really count all that much because we need instant healing. Good amount of stamina potions. But if this is a Falmer dungeon, this is going to be really sketchy. We're going to have to play this really smart. We got fire, we got beds. I can come back here and sleep if I need the energy. Skill book? No. Money. I love money. I don't care how dire the situation is. I find cash, I'm taking it. Oh, shit. Am I even in the right place? Yeah, it's the sightless pit. Probably gonna run into a frost troll. We have to keep an eye out for food though, because coming back to that camp to sleep for 24 hours and get Berserker Rage back is gonna be huge. There's a few apples back there, but not enough to get us through an entire 24 hour sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say, if it ends here, it's been an honor. And it will make turning this into a video very quick. Trap. Falmer's gonna pop right out of that thing. Yep, there they are. We're gonna take a hit here, but this is gonna be a good barometer to see how much damage we can take from a Falmer. Damage we give out is not that bad. Oh, but he missed. Keep him stumbling. Push him back. There we go. One down. We took one hit. Actually didn't do all that much damage to us. Let's take their poisons. And just to give us the best chance, let's use their poisons.
Ooh, don't tell me there's no return back here. Scritch is also pushing me off the ledge. I guess it's a sign I should keep moving. Oh no, there's no, I can't go back to the beds. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I'm gonna lose the whole run. All this effort, all this time that I put into this character, and now here I am. In a bottomless pit, traps everywhere. That's gonna shoot arrows out of the wall. Spotted. Who sees me? Scritch, get off the pipe. Just one, and a spider. Gotta keep an eye on that poison. It's gonna do damage over time. Spider's probably right behind me. They're gonna hit hard. Don't wanna get one shot. Yeah, spider does decent damage. Whoa. Nice try, get dodged. Okay, we're not doing too bad so far. Got a few enemies down. Take the venom. No poison on this one. Let's just keep our sword oiled up. I need a fire, we gotta warm up. That little extra notch of health is huge. Probably gonna pop out of here, yep. Okay, as long as we're taking on the targets one at a time, we're square. It's only gonna get harder though. All right, we're, we're still warming up. Spinning trap, how does it activate? Does it activate as soon as I step through here? Is there a button that activates it? Could use this to our advantage. How does it activate? I need to figure out how it activates. Is there a button somewhere in this room? Where did they, wait, wait, excuse me. Okay, now I'm cold. Oh, I wasted it. I wasted Berserker Rage, but that scared the shit out of me. We gotta warm up. Crap, I used it way too early. I, I felt like they just had the jump on me, plus they were blasting me with cold magic at the same time. I thought somebody was calling me just there. I was like, damn it, who's calling me right now? Okay. Please work, <laughs> please. Can I burn the Falmer bodies? I have to acquire warmth any way I can. How? Torch? Uh, my torch ran out. I only had the one. Damn, I really want to activate this though. What I don't want to do though is activate it and still be in here and lose the entire run to a damn trap. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We can do this. No traps. Chest over there, I feel like it's gonna be, those look like floor push board things, buttons, I don't know. I'm freaking out a bit right now though, chat. 
Uh, it's gonna be cold in there. Oh, Scritch, I don't want to die here. I have so much jewelry I have to make. We were talking about marriage. You know what? That's why I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. We talked about getting married. We talked about finding a spouse, settling down, raising a family. Now I'm dead. It happens in every single movie. Every single time they talk about the future and all the happy things that they're gonna do and all of the peace that they will enjoy, that's when the character dies. Every time. Looks like there's an entrance right there, although I've experienced enough Falmer to know that they'll follow me through. Higher level Falmer. Looks like only one, but there's always more. Do they have any of those little... Oh, doesn't matter. We got to go for it. Gotta keep this one stumbling. Decent damage, but not enough to freak me out. Nice, got him. One down. Let's heal up. Spider's dead. Room, clear. We good? All right, we're in the clear. Good shit. Yes, all right. That is what I'm talking about. We're moving forward. Not too bad. Can't loot that. I'm not, you know what? I don't even want to touch it because I have a fear that it might just self-activate and <laughs> attack me. Oh, I thought that was, I thought this was dead scratch. Don't need it. The Temple of Scrib. Definitely has to be a callback to Scribs in Morrowind. No? Or is that how you pronounce it? Or would it be pronounced Zrib? The Temple of Zrib. I'm gonna call it Scrib. All right. This is it. One last dungeon for the rest of our lives. Let's not fuck this up. No, no, no. We, we, we already got that tune. I, I can't have music right now. I need to focus. I need to lock in. Oh yeah, we're getting attacked by robots. I am eyeing everything. No traps. Because if I get cut down by spinning blades of death, I am going to lose my mind. Ice spike. It's a skulker, that's the one we just fought. God, it's a chorus. Jesus Christ, it scared the shit out of me and we almost lost the entire run that quickly. Health regen. Gotta go restore health. Stamina. We, ha we have to... We have unrelenting force. We still have that. Let's get them both to stumble if we can. Oh! One, where's my health? It's all gone. <gasps> oh no. The poison is outpacing my healing. Yeah. That's it. I don't know if I can get out of this. Okay, one down. Oh no. Shit. I just hit his dead body and not the target. Need some distance. Whoa. Shit. He missed. I just chewed through. Every single healing potion.
That's a good idea. Hold on, wait a minute. Remember that haunting spirit? Ugh, it's still super expensive. 111 magic just to cast haunting spirit? But I do have fortify magicka. I have a lot of magicka potions. Nine, five, one there, one there, one there. I mean, we have a lot of magicka potions. So with our remaining magicka, I mean, I mean, a familiar isn't nearly enough to win the fight. But can it distract enough and help us run through the dungeon? It's it's our only chance right now. I'm going to have to offset. I mean, this is going to cost me nearly two thirds of my magic each time that I cast it. And it's only going to last a few seconds. It's going down in one hit. You could leave the dungeon instead of going. I can't leave the dungeon. There's no way out. Wait, is there a way to leave? Does anybody know if there's a way out of here? Like, if I go back the way that I came? No. Nope, not for a long while. I have to just run through it, okay. I'm peckish. Gotta eat my salmon steak! Do I have muffle? I have a really stupid idea. That's not going to get me conjuration XP, is it? On battle axe might. Sacrifice a common no, that one won't work. I just don't have enough invested into my magic skills for it to carry me through this dungeon. I'm just trying to think I'm trying to think everything through and every available strategy that I have for when we get to the next room. I can't believe I ran out of healing. Like, if I do go like this... There we go, now we can get Conjuration XP. Hold on. Don't count me out yet. Don't count me out yet. Hold on a second. Uh-uh-uh, hold on now. Heavy armor increases. So now let's take out the wolf. So my thought is, this process I'm in right now, I mean, it'll be a grind and it'll take a while, but we could incrementally and ever so slightly increase our odds of survival if we level up, let's say we level up heavy armor three times. We level up conjuration six times by leveling up conjuration a few times and by heavy arm by leveling up heavy armor here we're probably going to have enough to level up i could try and make my way up to where those beds were before and take a level up i don't know if i'll be able to i think it's worth investigating right now let's work our way back to those beds and just along the way get some xp it's worth a try. Yeah. 
What if I looked away for too long and the wolf killed me? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, I should probably be careful here. I'm about to lose. It's worth a try. It's worth at least just going back and seeing. Maybe we get some healing XP. You know, I mean, if we make these skills a tiny percent cheaper than they are, it can help us. I mean, we are, we're trying to make a difference of like 1%. I should be using my one-handed weapon. Let's just make sure we're still getting Conjuration XP. Yep. Almost at 21. Yeah, I don't have I don't have Soul Trap. I've never found it. I'm good in there. That still scares me. We fought like five Falmer and one of the chorus centipede things, and it took away all of our healing. What the fuck was that? Okay, so I would have to get, and this is uh, this is pretty risky. Can't jump on there. I really need to stop stepping on this thing. Best route looks like it's probably get on that. If I get on that, I can be able to rock climb any of the walls. And it's not like in Skyrim or Fallout 4, is it, where you can hold something under you and then jump repeatedly? Do I have the sprint shout? No, the only shout that I have is unrelenting force. Oh, he died. He died from fall damage. Oh, wait, no, he's alive. The hell is he? Oh, there you are. All right, get down here. We go, Conjuration 21. Yeah. Let's get some heavy armor XP. This little dude does some good damage. Do I have any camping gear? I don't. I don't. I kind of feel bad for it. I keep conjuring this beast only to murder it. close to halfway to 40. I guess we're actually getting heavy armor XP at a decent rate from the wolf. But I mean, man, that's tough that I can't warm up anymore. 
My character is going to eventually get tired. And then our magic is going to regen even slower. Oh, I just, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. If I hang out right here and I wallow in despair and we grind conjuration all the way to 99 with this really stupid strategy, then I'm still alive and the run is still alive. Although my character would probably die of starvation by then. No, I don't have any arrows. Look at my heavy armor leveling up. Look at me making progress. I want to get a few more levels. Mainly because of the novelty of it, and it would be fun to explain in a video that we sat here and tried to give ourselves the smallest advantage we could. Well, yeah, we're going to have to pacifist our way through it. Literally any and all resources we use have to be on sprinting, building a distraction, or conjuring a distraction, and healing ourselves. That's it. That's what all of our resources have to be put onto. Yeah, that's... That's the plan. Yeah, we're going to make it out of here and then die in the dumbest way possible. Increase my block. It's not a bad idea. Does this increase heavy armor, though? I'm not going to really be blocking on my way out of here. How much longer can we listen to this? Yeah, if anyone's wondering what's going on, we're trying to save this run. I'm out of potions. There's no exit. I'm this is the second time I've entered a damn dungeon in this playthrough where the entrance like locks me in. Remember that boss fight where I got locked in? of restoration would go up, you know, once every year. It's so damn slow. There we go, restoration. Okay, we almost have heavy armor leveled up twice with this strategy. Now that we're kind of, we're getting some skills, we got restoration, we're going to get a second heavy armor skill, we've got some conjuration. But I'm not going to be able to claim my level up. That's the biggest problem. If I can't climb my level up, or claim my level up, it's about an extra potion per wolf that I summon to be a distraction. Ah. 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 
There we go. Heavy armor 45. I wonder if that changed our overall armor rating. Yeah, our armor rating is at 312 now. It was at 307, I think. You know what, Scritch? Wait for me in the city. You don't need to witness this, Scritch, and I'm tired of dragging you along for my deadly adventure that's just gonna get you killed. Go wait for me at Falkreath. When I get home, I'll find you. Wait, why are you going that way? Why is he going this way? The song kind of fits Scritch, though. He's kind of bopping around. Okay. I'm taking off all of my armor so that I could be as sneaky as possible. We're going to move incredibly slow. I need to understand my surroundings. Salt pile. I don't know why I let that get me all excited when it's useless right now. Oh, it looks like there's a draft up there. Scritch, go the other way! Unless you'll go in there and act as a distraction, which admittedly would be fantastic. So we're gonna go left click, conjure familiar, right click heal. These are going to be our two abilities. As soon as we get caught, we have to throw the armor back on. If I forget to put my armor on and that gets me killed, I will actually cry. Shh. Come on, don't get cold in here. You and me, Scritch. Apparently you're leading the way. Taking your sweet ass time going home. There's a spawn pod. I wonder if Scritch can trigger it. Now hold on, is cowardice the only way right now? Like, if I'm able to isolate just one of them, if I'm oh, and there might be there could it's possible there's a bed in this camp. A chorus hunter, I'm dead. Don't try it. Well, I don't know which direction to go. The map isn't necessarily revealed to me. Temple of Scrib. So fucked. I should have known. There's an X in the name of this place. I should have known I was screwed. I'm gonna get cold as soon as I step onto this. My cold rating is gonna start increasing because I'm on snow and I'm naked. Slow as possible. Slow as possible. Warmth. There's a fire in there. I'm almost spotted. I'm spotted already. From what fucking direction? <sighs> Caps lock, get off, turn it off. I'm dead. I actually let him hit me before I put my armor back on. I'm an idiot. Whoo, and there's arrows flying at me. Okay, that was way closer than it should have been. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I went backwards. I went backwards. That's okay. I got my magic. There's two. Ah, oh, shit. There's two of them charging me. Regular Falmer, I can take him. Go familiar in one hand, sword in the other. There's way more of them than I thought. Oh, there's way more of them than I thought. There are far more of them than I thought. No, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, get in, open the door. Ah, 
That was so bad. That was so bad. That was so bad. That was so bad and so stupid. That was so, so, so bad. Oh, shit. Ah, this was supposed to be a part two. That was so bad. No, what? No. Not this screen. I can't. Uh, fuck. I can't. Uh, I can't load all of or delete all of the saves because I'll need them for B roll. Oh, uh, this was supposed to be a part two. Why did it have to end here? That was so bad. I'm so mad. God fucking damn it. Uh, see, now I do sound like the swearing mud crab. Shit. Oh, no. The cat, I knew the caps lock would end the run too. Oh, uh, why did I think I could sneak? Why did I think I could fight? I'm like, oh, why? That was so bad. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I don't think I can turn that into a video. Shit. I might be fucked. Um, so congratulations to the people who voted no, because technically we didn't hear it. Oh, I'm so mad. My house is gone. I knew it. As soon as we started talking about a family. If I cheat and load a save, you won't tell. No, we can't do that. It's over. It's over. Start over. Brand new character from scratch. No, it's 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 done. It's toast. We're so. I know I should have never gone in there. And now fittingly. Fittingly, my character is just in a death loop. I should have run it. I should have ran. I don't know why I thought I could have bought myself some time, but as soon as I saw that that little house had a fire in it, I was sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, I can do this. Like, there's a fire right there. I'm going to warm up, get some health back. Possibly there's a little uh, Falmer bed in there. I don't think the Falmer have any beds, though. Maybe a bedroll? No, I'm not all that tired. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. That sucks. That's a bummer. Thank you, kind sir. I used, I used Berserk earlier in the, okay, load a save and run just to see if I can make it. I think my game is on an infinite load screen right now, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Let me fix this. Okay, or I'll lose my mouse. Shit, man. That's actually such a huge bummer. Uh, all right, yeah, we'll try and run it. Let's just see. Why not? Got none to lose. The run's dead. But let's see how bad my decision making was. Why didn't I run it? That was so unbelievably stupid. That one hurts. All right. Let's see. This is before I leveled up. So I assume that the fight is going to be. Oh, no, we did kill the chorus here. 
Um, all right, it's not exactly where we last were, but it's right before we had our level up. So we're gonna go conjure familiar on one, healing on the other. This was our original plan. Heal up real quick. The problem was when they start throwing ice at me. That's when it gets really tough. So let's see. Just try and run straight through it. If I get through here alive, I'm gonna be so upset. Got me with an arrow, can't jump over this little bullshit. Sounds like the wolf is dead. Big time room in here. I'm gonna make it through. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Woo. Hi, hi, how are ya? There's one right in front of me. He's charging something up. Thank you, kind sir. She is Jew. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, another one. Oh, fuck your ice spike. Come on. I would have, I could have made it. I could have made it. The exit's right there. It's on the other side of the room. God fucking damn it. I wouldn't have made it. Fuck. I'm a god. How can you feel a god? <laughs> Thank you. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet man of ours. That's not the actual exit? Oh my gosh, so I was really screwed. I don't think there was any way I was getting out of there. Oh, damn it. Thank you, thank you. That was very kind of you all. All right, so I'm gonna end that recording there. Uh, Gearhead, thank you very much for the Prime and for three months. Mimikyu, Mimikyu loves Senpai. Thank you for gifting 10 to the channel and for bringing and blessing us with Dagoth Wave. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. It was very kind of you. Very generous. Thank you. I say that a lot. That's why I'm going to come up with a new system for thanking chat. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to do now. Shit. I was hoping we'd be able to at least get three streams out of that character. But I fucked it all up. I don't know if I can turn that into a video. I mean, it could be short. It could be a short video. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. Sly Panda, thank you. For a total of 76 on the channel. That's a cursed number. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oblivion Arena Gamba. Rewind to the before the one. Nope. No, I made a decision. I gotta own it. I should never have gone in. All because of your stupid fucking prediction, chat. You wanted to gamble. I had to let y'all gamble. And I was like, nope, we're gonna prepare. I made 17 health potions. I'm so prepared for this fight. I wasn't fucking prepared. I needed at least another... I probably would have needed 200 healing potions just to get through that dungeon. Thank I did say kind, something sir. about doing Fallout 4 without leaving the roads. But I wanted to do I wanted to do a Skyrim upload on the channel. Um, uh, shit. Um, I don't know. Maybe we will turn this into a video. I, I don't know if we could. We got like three and a half hours of footage. It'd be pretty short. And the next video has to be sponsored on the channel. So I don't know. <laughs> I won't I won't bore you all with the the YouTube politics of it all. Skyrim without leaving the roads, we did that a while ago. Oh man, that was so tough. No blaming chat. Oh, I will always blame chat. 
have most of the video be an ad read. Here's a four minute I fucking died video. That would be pretty funny. A character that only uses conjuring. Fallout 4 Iron Man? That is on my list. I did find a couple of mods that make Fallout 4 Iron Man possible. Wildlander? I feel like I heard about the Wildlander mod. Oh man, I can't believe I blew it! I blew it! Oh, why? How? Oh my gosh. Is it for Skyrim? Oh, it's a giant mod pack. This is huge. Um, did I totally miss an old uh, killer dumpling? Thank you for the prime. And Sly Panda again. Thank you. Mimikyu love senpai. Thank you as well. Let's create backstory for this character to add more time. I mean, I do. I do a lot of times add some stupid backstory or uh, background to some of the characters we play in in post, right? Oblivion Arena matches. Have a 10 minute ad read and then 30 second gameplay montage ending with me dying. I, yeah, I don't think we had enough like highlights throughout that. Let me think for a sec. Let me think for a second, chat. Okay. Give me a minute here. Okay, I just want to test something out. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but let's just see. Uh, actually, no, nah, we'll save this. I'm going to save that for bingo. Now nah, we'll save it. We'll save it and we'll do we'll do a couple of test runs before we actually start bingo. Uh, yes, yeah, screaming pudding, I died. I blew it. That was really bad. Let me look at my Trello board. So I had on here Skyrim Iron Man 2 was at the top. Nice. That's not going to work. That one's dead. Next one I wanted to do after this was Skyrim Ultimate Bingo or Skyrim Randomizer Bingo, whatever we call it. Then I was going to do Fallout 4 without leaving the road. And then I was thinking of doing a Kingdom Come Deliverance Iron Lock. That sounded fun. Then we could do Fallout 4 Iron Man. Could just do. It is possible to just move Fallout 4 Iron Man to the top. Because that one does sound fun. Fallout 4 Iron Man sounds like a good time. But I'm going to need a shit ton more footage than I have. And we need to finish the project by next Friday. 
Um, I'm going to have to think about this. Why not just use this Iron Man run as a transition into the Fallout Iron Man? Should we should we title it? No, no, we probably just title it as like Fallout 4 Iron. It's actually not a bad idea because then we could probably use highlights from this Iron Man run and how it ended and just be like, yep, yeah, this is going to be a part two, but we ended up failing and blowing the entire run. So we did it in Fallout 4 instead. That probably works. I got to think about it. I got to think about it for a bit. Because, I mean, we could save. We could save the footage from today. And then maybe do Fallout 4 without leaving the road. I just don't I just don't want to do three Fallout videos in a row on the channel. That's all. I like to I like to bounce back and forth. I like to do two in a row. In like one thing and then change it. So we'll see. Damn it, I cannot believe I fucked it. I can't believe I blew it. I'm actually so disappointed in myself for screwing that up. Sorry, everyone. I'm actually kind of bummed because I, the stream died yesterday. So I was planning on doing this for a really long time. Did I do I did Iron Man, then we did Frost, and then we did those really goofy uh, user submitted quests in Fallout 4. Am I still planning on region like Mark? Yeah. Uh, it just keeps getting moved to the back of the list. Oh, it was Creation Club that did me in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that just makes it so much worse. That makes it so much worse. Yeah, let's start Iron Man all the way over. Let's just start Skyrim Iron Man from the very top. Run it back. No, I don't think I have enough time to do that. Ugh. That is a tough one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some thinking here. I should have ended the prediction. I should have. Play a scritch. Can you play as yeah, you can play as a skeever. We've d we've done the playable animal mod. Well, I'm going to try and think of some things because I got to figure uh, I got to figure a few things out on my end. But I appreciate everybody for hanging out. The fun part about permadeath is always remembering how fucking devastating it is when it dies. Oh, it sucks so bad. But I'm going to get going for the day. Man, I'm so sad. What if I just dove back into uh what if I dove back into the thread of user submitted Skyrim quests and like <laughs> just No, I don't wanna I don't wanna like title it and and tease the video as an Iron Man video and then do something completely different, but that would be pretty funny to just be like, well, actually the run ended, so we had to come up with other things to do. It's no longer cool, we died. We'll see. I'll try and plan some stuff out. I appreciate everybody. We'll talk soon. Uh, I'm going to try and stream tomorrow. 
I'm going to try and stream the next several days if I can. Um, oh, also, by the way, we just for the first time ever passed over a thousand sub points. Thank you all. Never done that before. I appreciate that. Thank you all. Seriously. That's pretty cool. Wow. Look at that. Now, it's still technically not at a thousand subscribers, but at 1,015 sub points. I'm not 100% sure the difference of them. Given that this is my job, I should probably figure that out. Skyrim failure compilation. That would be... It's like the good old days. Uh, speaking of good old days, uh, Ian and Anthony bought back Smosh. Good for them. Wow. It was kind of wholesome content uh, for the day to see. All right, that's all. If I am streaming tomorrow, I'll probably be live around noon or 1 central time. That's when I usually try to be live. But that's all for today. We'll talk soon. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Talk soon. Also, if you're on the VOD channel and you made it this far, remember to like and subscribe.